I'm not sure if that's a bad thing or not. I I, I don't know, and I'm 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 relying on you guys here. Before you go, what is my take? My take is, if you don't look at it through the lens of Elite or Star Citizen or No Man's Sky, which you shouldn't, I think it's a great game. I think if that's what you're looking for, it's not for you. If you're thinking Fallout in space, it's really good. Really good. So, we are also... Raising money and awareness this month, guys. <clears throat> we have partnered with Players vs. Cancer to take a dent in cancer. And this is one that's near and dear to my heart, and we're going to be doing it all month. And if we get to this $1,000 goal, there's going to be more goals, as well as every $5 you guys give, I have to eat a warhead. And not a fun part of the warhead, <clears throat> the outside crappy part of the warhead, the not good part of the warhead. And then I have to spit it out. Because that's what it's about. But we'll get into that. We'll get more into that. And guys, anytime you want to hit exclamation mark charity, you'll see it come up. You'll get the link, all that jazz. You can also look down below. But we're going to start doing some work. It's been a while since we've done charity work. And I feel like it's time to get back in it. I've never played a Bethesda game this way, and I will soon find out if it was really worth it. I skipped a lot of content I normally do. See, and I don't want to do that. <clears throat> I don't want to skip that content. So we're probably going to be focusing tonight on some side quests. Maybe a main quest or two, but I kind of want to just keep going in the side stuff, and we'll see what happens. What do you guys think? What you guys think? All right, so we're standing right now. We've been standing. I've been standing since I hit the go live at 8.53, so I'm going to call that a fair. So let's get into this. I hope you all have had a fantastic weekend. Have you? You guys stayed out of trouble? Have you done good? Have you done what, what you were supposed to do? People who know, people who should know kept saying it was worth it. I'm willing to try it, but we'll see. So you don't think it was worth it then, Wolf? And Catholic, you've not stayed out of trouble? What's up, Atomic? How are you today? How's it going? How's everybody doing? My hand's feeling somewhat better. We'll see. I've got a tweet out. You guys want to uh, help raise visibility? You can always retweet that. And a little bar up there, guys. It's at 25 right now. And I'm hoping by the end of the month, it's going to be at five grand. That's my hope. But we're going to take it in steps. We are going to take it in steps. <sighs> guys, cancer's, cancer's garbage. We got to do something about it. Nearly drop kick someone's child. Did they deserve it? All right, so let's get into this and see what kind of trouble we can find tonight. I do have an off save, off stream save file um, that you will see, but I'm not touching that on stream and I'm not touching the stream one off stream. So I have my own private playthrough that you guys are not necessarily seeing. But let's uh, let's get into this and see what happens. Yay! Yay! And as you can see, the little bar under me, somebody has already donated twenty five, donated twenty five dollars anonymously to Players vs Cancer and the American Association for Cancer Research. All right, so we're going to load. And as you'll see, I have Lan and I have Chris. Now, here's a fun fact I didn't realize. <clears throat> I'm not really chaotic. Not really. So here's the thing I didn't realize. People will actually call you Chris. So it's like Codsworth in Fallout 4, except it goes even further. It goes even further now. Like, if you have your name various other people will now refer to you i guess they recorded the voice voice lines for a couple of different of the actors to like of your companions to call you chris it's not just like codworth codsworth was now unfortunately nobody knows lanthios so we're gonna get into it we're gonna confirm we're gonna drop the table and we're gonna get into it what do you guys think yay i enjoy the quest line, but we're not going to just stick with that. And let's see, everything's good. So where we left off, we were outside of the moon at the, at that little Nova Star Galactic Yard. We have to go to, I believe, Neptune. So we're going to, we're going to transfer our happy ass off to Neptune. You cannot go while you're, 
Did I recruit anybody? No. So far, we were very early in the quest. We did not get that far um, the other night. And I love this camera. I love this camera with a passion. I think it's such a great view. And the stations actually reflect what they look like on the inside. All right, so let's go to map. Let's go to Neptune. And let us travel to Neptune. So far, we just have Sarah. Thank you, Doc. Thank you, buddy. Thank you, thank you. So we have Doc Rude. Or we have Doc Rude. No, we have Sarah and we have... Wait, you see that? Vasco. There's a ship just drifting out there. No time to take in the sights. That could be our vanguard. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire up our lasers. Something's wrong. The ship's weapons are powering up. Get ready. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the engines are down. Boom. Hello. Yes, you're on my crew, Doc. Most hostile ships can be boarded once the engines are down. You must fly close to the ship before you're allowed to dock. Once bored, expect the crew on the ship to fly. That's it. Start the docking routine. Come on. Let's go rescue that vanguard. All right, so we're going to go save this guy that we were looking for the other night. And this is part of the main storyline. And then we'll probably go off and do some fun stuff, some side stuff. Because, I mean, I, I saw Ko's thing... I mean, it's done really well. It's done really well. And honestly, um, I saw Ko's review that was like, hey, you should beeline it for New Game Plus. And I was like, that's not really for me. Okay, so we are almost full on our goodies. So let's go to our ship and let's transfer. Um, inventory, weapons... You. There we go. Okay, cool. Got everything we need. Uh, actually, no. I want to see if I can transfer that. That, that. Uh, we're at 103. Okay. My off stream file, I got a, I got a suit that actually makes weapons weigh half as much in my inventory. And I'm like, God damn it, why couldn't I get that on, on? You are the greatest. No, no, no. Better than the greatest. Shut up, I man. That's grammatically impossible. It might not be Jemison, but this ship is starting to feel like home. All right, so here we go. We need to clear this base, or this, the ship. Now this ship at least has gravity. least has gravity. I was in a ship today, I was in a station today that had no gravity, and let me tell you, fighting without gravity is a really... Oh, fine. Oh. Next time they can't pay up, I'll kill them all. Fighting in a station without gravity is a trippy, trippy thing. That's a bathroom. That's a flashlight. Chunks chicken, lids. I don't, can you board with more than just your uh, your one companion? Take that, because I don't even care. Where the hell is my way through here? This was my way from my ship. Am I missing something here? Am I missing something? That's the frontier. 
it's it's even more weird than than Borderlands. All right, so we come through here. This is the door we came through. Boarding is, is always going to be just us plus one. Okay, I didn't know with bigger ships. Uh, where the hell is the door? Where the hell is the door? Gotta be some better food around here. Tired of rations. A little bit of cold never hurt anyone, right? Where the hell? Chat, am I am I crazy? Did we not get a door? Huh? Did we not get door? So shower room here. Look behind the ladder. Oh, this way, okay. Drilled. There we go. Bye bye. Now, I need to go into my inventory. I, I hate using the tab menu. I really am not a fan, guys. I will tell you that. I am not a fan. Do I have any? I don't. Great. I don't have anything to throw. I don't have any. I was trying to get grenades. I thought I had some. Alright. Alright, so instigating modified side star, the ship keys, some ammo, and a modified Grendel. Now, before we open it up and let him out, let's see if there's anything here for us to, you know, borrow. We just wanna borrow some of your food. Nothing else. Okay. So inside we go. Inside we go. Captain's locker. Hey, friend. I'm gonna talk to him. Ah, am I glad to meet whoever you two are? Looks like we're all in one piece. Any day you walk away from, right? Yeah, except I kind of trash your ship. Ah. More violence. No one has any respect for space these days. Sounds I hear like something that. I would say. If the universe was a nice place, all soldiers could retire, and no home would be missing a seat at the table. That's right. Who are you two, anyway? Constellation. Seriously? Guess that's where the respect for space comment was coming from. Man, Interesting. I've only heard stories. Interesting. We've heard stories, too, about a strange object you found on patrol. Yeah, it's so up there in the you corner. know what that thing is. I tried to hawk it in Sidonia, and the guy thought I was peddling phony titanium. Mm, it doesn't play nice with scanners. It'd be worthless to someone trying to flip rare minerals quickly. So you're saying I shouldn't be using it as a hood ornament? Yeah, not a good idea, bud. Um... You were out on patrol a long time. People were worried. Oh, that. Yeah, I mean, it's been a mess lately. Spacers, Varun Zealots, plus Ecliptic tracking me down. We ran into a few members of Ecliptic at the Nova Galactic Star Yard. I'm guessing they were after you. Uh, ah, yeah. Damn. That's probably how they found me. I knew taunting the Spacers to meet me at Neptune was a long shot. Making rookie mistakes. I've been chasing shadows around the Sol system for years. And every time I go back to Mars... Sidonia is waiting for you. Run down. There's got to be more to the story. Feels like everyone's given up, you know? I've just been spending more and more time in the star field. Sometimes in I wonder if I'm really going back. In the star field. I love that back. use of the term. 
Maybe it's time to get out of Seoul. I could use more crew. Judging by today, I think the Seoul system needs you. Well, good luck with I could use more crew. Yeah? You know, that's actually kind of tempting. I'd have to settle some things back on Sidonia. Okay. Maybe hit me up there later. If you don't mind, we came here for something. That strange object you found? Right. Hey, it's yours. Appreciate the rescue. Hope you figure out whatever that. You like the option thing two more? Is. Let's grab the artifact. Yeah, but I'm never I'm never against having more. Good work. Let's the UC get back factions to the line is pretty good. I might have to try it at some point. And welcome on in, uh, White Hatter. How are you doing? I haven't really like decided if I'm gonna join any. Thanks again for the rescue. Don't know what I would have done if you hadn't jumped in. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry about your ship, buddy. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm gonna do any lines. Find anything useful? I'm looking. I don't want foam containers. Take that. You're empty. Doing pretty good. Good to hear. Happy Sunday night to you. Or Monday morning if you're on the other side of the world. I mean, you could be upside down for all I know. We got a lot of upside down folks. Um, a lot of coffee cup cup like holders. Okay. Let's go back to the frontier. Back to the frontier. I'm silly. I heard that you're so fast. You can run around a planet and sign the back of your own head. We just need to find you a pen. God, he's an asshole. He's such a fucking asshole. Mm. Alright, so we're gonna undock. And then I guess we're going back to, uh... Sorry, sorry about your ship, bud. I hope you can make it back. I'm sure they're sad to see you go. This guy is something. How are you? I found out I have autoimmune encephalitis on top of the arachnoid system. My cerebral. Sounds like you're going through a lot, man. I am sorry to hear that. I am sorry to hear that. Okay, return to lodge. Um, as far as I know, there's no exclusivity for the major factions. The main, the main minor factions I know have some RUC, Cis, Def, and Crimson Fleet. I don't think I'd want to join Crimson Fleet. They don't seem like my kind of company. All right, so back to Alpha Centauri. Let's jump. Now, here's the thing they're not explaining to me. Am I managing my fuel? Like, do I have to buy more fuel? Or does it just automatically refill when I land? Or what? What's up, Looney? How you been, dude? How's I treating you? There we go. There we go. Off to the Disney planet. I, I can't help but feel like... Be advised, just you are entering land. United Colony space. Please maintain course and prepare to be scanned. I, I feel like when we land here, it's like going to Disney. Scan complete. You are clear to land in New Haven. You're in the great state. I heard you were going to Alabama. You have certainly been all over. I think fuel is just a distance limit. Okay, so as my jump drives and everything get better and better, I don't need to... Okay, okay, so it gets refueled. Okay, I because I'm so used to like Elite, and I know this is nothing like Elite, but I see that fuel thing on my While jump, here, and I'm like... Let's swing by Centaurian so I can pick up some ammo. Okay, we'll go get ammo. I just didn't know if fuel actually had a limit or anything that I needed to pay attention to. Wasn't sure. Why are my parents here? Now, this, this is um, right now I'm pretty much ballistic. What's up, Vasco? It fits. Energy it fits. A bit, if it fits, it ships. Is there anything new showing up? No, it's the same as before. There's a massive output as the artifact is added, then it harmonizes. Like it's waiting for the others. Hmm, that's speculation, but I think it you're is right. 1414 and we need more. In the 
23 seconds Here, left in the, in the second you've quarter. You've earned this. Welcome to Constellation. As a full member this time. Wait, what do you mean? Yeah. What does it mean to be a full member? Honestly, this just makes it more official. Call it right person, right place, right time. But once the artifacts started coming together, you were one of us. Okay, well, it's an honor to be a part of this, even though you, like, fucking just snubbed me. And Looney, I've been well. How about yourself? How's the job? We're going to do great things together. All of us. By the way, how would you like to keep traveling together? I'm not um, sitting behind my desk for this. These artifacts are a new chapter for Constellation, and I'm going to be out there for it. And I want you out there as well. You got results. <laughs> I need someone like you watching my back. Uh, what do you guys think? Should we take her? I'm a loner, Dottie. I'm a rebel. What do you guys think? Should we take Sarah with us for the next leg of our journey? I mean, she's not bad. She's not a bad shot. And I know there was people the other night who wanted me to romance her, so. Yeah, for someone with leadership, she just threw a jab at everyone. Yeah. Yeah, she's definitely punching down on her team. All right. We've got a few more leads we Bay. should talk about. First, there's an expedition that Samco has been putting together. It's in Free Star Collective Space, and he knows it inside and out. There's also the Eye, our star station in orbit. About time for you to meet Vladimir. He's been hard at work tracking down more anomalies. And last but not least, Noel. Have we heard anything from Barrett yet? A courier from Argos Extractors came by to let us know I they're packing it. up the Have operation yet, on Vectera. But that's it. No other word. Mm, that's not good. We should get over there and check on Barrett in person. All right, so we can either... All right, so we can, okay. e we can either go... I'll... Let's take a second. We can either go help meet Vladimir at the station, which I know nothing about. We can go with Sam Co and start something on some planet with the Free Star Collective, which I know nothing about, which might be cool. Or we can go check on Barrett. <clears throat> Not PC, not good enough. So chaotic says free star. I don't know. We need to unload the ship as well. You are doing. satisfied with the quarters available to you. Yes, yes, I am. Why are you two I here? It would be years so until I saw you. I again. missed you so and much. Here you are. I hope you don't mind, but I figured the lodge was just a nat stop away. I just had to see it. Yeah, it's just... Oh, this place is everything I imagined. Yeah. Do you know I dreamt of joining Constellation when I was a girl? You have hidden depths, Mom. You wanted to be in Constellation? I have some vids of when I was, um, 12 in my Constellation Halloween outfit. <laughs> so embarrassing. And why would you talk about it? But I found space so fascinating that there is still so much we don't know. I, I don't know if I was I'm part of some like secret society way. and my parents just showed up at my job. Talking with you has made my day. Well, take I'm it easy, Looney, serious. and good luck with everything. Good luck. Your father dropped by. He left a note for you. Here. I think you need to get rid of some of that gear. I think so too. Y'all got shit for me that you want me to handle. Okay. Um, notes. Note from dad. Uh, if you could stop by home, there's something I wanted to talk to you. Okay. You've been given a precious opportunity. Seize it. Why did you give, why did my back. dad give you a note if you're- I here? hope you don't mind, but I, I just had to- Oh, this place is- Do you know I dreamt? You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. Right, and they just leave it running. That was my thought, is why is it just running? Why for... As much as I love uncovering new questions, I wouldn't mind a few answers. Yeah, I know, ads. I can't help that. <clears throat> I have it set as the bare minimum that Twitch will allow. Okay. So let's go... Let's go sell some shit. Share love. 
All right, let's go sell some stuff. <coughs> Sorry, I got some inventory. I literally haven't done anything with the save since the other day when we did it. Like, I have left this save as is, guys. The well, something to report. Investigate the brownouts in the well. Well, that sounds interesting. You have a not, not sure if those Varun zealots live in space or got separated from their home planet or what, but they scavenge what they need. Lots of old facilities left over from the colony war, and they like to pick them clean. You know, I'm really surprised that there's not like a Reaver race. If you guys think of like, uh, what's the, the thing I'm looking for? If you look at like, uh, Firefly. All right, so CJ's open 49 hours. I don't understand this whole wait system. I don't understand this 49. I don't, I don't understand how we, we pass time in this game properly, so I'm just not going to do too much with it. Okay, where is the... It's over here. It's on the tip of my tongue. It's on the tip of my tongue. Let's go to the uh, spaceport. Back. Welcome back. Sorry about that. I have it set as low as Twitch will let me uh, without just giving you guys ads every 10 minutes. Keep it moving. So. All right, so let's go to Spaceport. Right, I don't understand the 49 hour system. And like when you wait, it does this weird thing where it has local time and then like, it, I, there's gotta be some centralized here. Let me sit down somewhere. Somewhere to sit. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there's a really weird. Right, chaotic. That's what got me was okay. So, is if they just leave that thing running in the house all day, what what effect does it have? So we have one local hour, two point five hour minute UT, two hours four ten, twenty hours. Okay, so twenty four hours is fifty hours. <clears throat> and 23 local hours are 47 hours. So what is a 40 no open 49 hours a day? So you're open, what, like 23 and a half hours of the day? I don't get it. All right, so let's go sell some of our crap. Did somebody just say they've been getting rashes under their underpants? Is that what I saw? All right, so let's go talk to this lady. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Oh, please take a look. All right, so we're going to change this over to sell. So we don't need this guy. We don't need this guy. We have a suppressed Maelstrom. Space suits, uh, why am I wearing? Let me get rid of this pirate charger suit. Helmets, get rid of that. Get rid of that. So now we're down to 110. Let's sell some of this stuff. Keep our digi picks. Now we're down to 98. Peril. Nothing, nothing. How do I have a security helmet? There we go. There's a reason my favorite sci fi books use Earth hours. It just goes past 24 hours for local time as necessary. Plus a 0.x hour called comp to cover. Yeah, I mean, I just, I'm not against what they're doing. I just don't fully understand it. All right, so a liquid cooled space trucker pack. Do that. Do that. 
Now. I think we're going to hold on to that for now. Appreciate yeah, I think, the business. I think it actually is a 50-hour day. Which makes no sense. It should be a 48-hour day. Like, if you want to do it like that and do double the hours, that's fine. 50 makes my brain hurt. Style on the stars. Let's see what we have on our log. Let's see. All right, so that's all done. Back to Vectera. I kind of want to go back to Vectera and check on Barrett. There's the Sam Co thing. There's the Vladimir thing. Mantis. Read the secret outpost slate. As long as we're here, we might as well go check the inventory of our ship. This is honestly going to be the best thing. This is the way security should be. You wear a rocket vest. And what kind of ship should we build, guys? Should we build a hauler? Should we build a fighter? Should we build what? I don't know. All right, so let's go inside here. It says to check our inventory. We might have to go back and start the Head to my crew position. I you're fluent in over two dozen verbal and body languages. Oh my god, shut Remarkable. up. Remarkable. Shut up. Okay. So what am I looking for? How is that? Yes, we have the fan. Modified Grendel, we can sell. Take those and sell them. Okay, what do you want me to do in my inventory in the spaceship? Check out your ship's inventory. So let's see what this this suit is better. Okay, I guess we're going to keep the constellation suit. All right, let's go sell this crap outside. Go back to the lot. Sandwiches. I'm enjoying it sandwich i am truly enjoying it it is it is you know fallout and skyrim in space it's not elite dangerous <clears throat> it's not no man's sky but it's oh look at that they put up all the barriers for us um we we hi but it is fun it is fun nonetheless all right so ooh we should be on the lookout for more of them cuz that's a fair bit of money we're at 30,000 right now. Bye bye, bye bye. Weapons. So you're four. You're six. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Okay. Kind of How you been? Concentration here. You should got anything you need to offload? Trader. Yeah, we can't afford any ships. All right, so chat, what are we going to do? Are we going to do Vladimir, Vectera, or Barrett, <clears throat> or talk to Sam Co? You guys get to decide. Let's see what y'all decide for me. And if we only get like one vote, I'll, I'll then make a choice. It's that easy. Because I heard, I believe it was Catholic say uh, Sam Co earlier. What does each one lead to? I have no clue. Um, side of a mountain highway because my transmission on the work. Ooh, I'm sorry, dude. That's no fun. Does the truck at least run that you can use air conditioning for the time being? 
Um, I don't know what any of them go to because I really I haven't done any of them. Like even on my side pile. Uh, we're gonna go to <clears throat> Vectera. We're gonna go deal with Sam or with Barrett. Panda, how are you? How's life treating you? Thank you for the thank you for the Murloc. The Murloc is currently uh, he's currently a little low on the seat because we got our our charity board here for the month. All right, so we're going back to Vectera, Slug Terra. Uh, set course. There you go. And Mufasa, how are you tonight? How goes it? It's actually not hot out. It's like 18C with a breeze. You calling me Charlie Three? Oh, I know. Just my memory from names. Well, it's plain terrible. And that's fair. <laughs> Sorry. So, I'm doing my rounds, uh, pick up supply drops, and I grab into the Altair system, and <laughs> oh boy, spacers all over the damn place there. It's a stress call, yammering nonstop. Okay, this is kind of cool. This is kind of cool. There, all of us with no skin in Day the is going well. How about we you? Just give it a wide berth. Doing better? You almost done. What? How? Uh, no, we had leftovers from last night. Um, it might be I can help them out. Charlie Three, you are looking to pay it forward like Catch me. Catch a ride. This guy reminds me of Scooter. Oh, I'm getting Scooter I mean, vibes. I won't tell you you're crazy, but wow. Guys, giving me Scooter vibes. Bye, Charlie Three. You've been like the best Charlie Three I talked to all week. <laughs> all right, so we got to go to Vectera. Uh, Argos Extractor. See, okay, so here's what I learned. If you do this, you'll land in the, like, if you click on that thing, you don't go where you want. You want to click there. Stream environment. Yeah, I was getting scooter. You know, we had leftovers from dinner, and we did, like, whores divorce last night. Like, we did shrimp, and we did pigs in a blanket. It appears things have gone downhill since the last time you were here. Uh, spacesuits, not equip. 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 And that's equipped. Okay. Argos has clearly washed its hands of this operation. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Man. Okay, we're good now. We're not gonna die. Well, you're back. Yeah, I'm back. Lynn! Oh, no. Don't start. I've had enough Barrett for one lifetime. I don't need the sequel showing up on my doorstep. More pirates showed up when you were gone. We weren't as lucky this time. Calvert. Troy. Some of the new Dusties. They Aww. didn't make it. I'm sorry, Ellen. I didn't know. Well, how could you have? You weren't here. <sighs> Anyway, I was pinned down behind some crates with Barrett. Bullets and laser fire everywhere. No smile on that damn carefree face of his. Like he knew this was it. I started stealing myself to go out fighting. Then that idiot puts his hand on my shoulder and says, Stay here, Lynn. I got you. Barrett, no. It doesn't sound good. Not for them, anyway. Barrett is more dangerous than you might think. Next thing I know, two of the pirates are dead, and he's got the third one in a headlock. Drags him out into the open at gunpoint and demands to talk, or else I'm going to demonstrate Newton's third law on this guy's I like temporal Barrett. lobe. I like Barrett. And that's when they brought out Heller. <sighs> well, they got Heller. Tell me what happened. I didn't overhear everything, but after the ten longest seconds of my life, 
Barrett put his hands up, and both of them ended up getting taken aboard the pirate ship. No. And that's the last I saw of either of them. I need to find Barrett and Heller. Courier said Argos was packing, packing up. Why not mention the... Too risky to put that in the message. Too much liability. You know how it is. Our clients need to know when the operations start and stop. We handle the rest. Lynn is such a badass. I need to find them. They could have grav jumped anywhere. I tried pinging a transmission to the ship in the comms building before they left, but the pirates must have fried it. You want to try it? Go ahead. But the odds of them being alive, even if you could find them. All right, we're going to go say Barrett and, and Heller. I've lost a lot I'm of sorry people to hear on that, this Panda. run, Dusty. I just want to pack up. All right, fix the comm computer. Meanwhile, is there any other goodies for us to steal? Uh, let's go to inventory. And then let's do a little of this. So we go... Um, Uh, we're going to set you as one. Set you as four. There we go. All right, so we got to go to the comms tower. See if we can't fix that up. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Here we go. so sad though that they got Heller and Lynn. Like, good job, Bethesda. You have absolutely, absolutely tugged on our heartstrings. Heller's cutter. Hell yeah, that way in case he doesn't come back, we'll just keep his cutter. Maybe we'll return it. Isotopic coolant, antibiotics, a spaceship, We're gonna do this. There we go. I ho. I ho. And how the fuck we go? Do -do 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 Oh, Christ. Okay. You're going to make me do more of this, aren't you? Yep, you are. So if we go here and here, and then we go there and there. Okay, so here. Boop. Boop. If that was locked, there must be something they don't want us to find. Absolutely there's shit they don't want us to find. Like digipix. And a potato? Let's take a potato. I am a potato. Uh, computer's empowered. Look for a power source. Okay. I'm loving it so far. Oh, every Bethesda game encourages thievery. Every one of them does. And Panda, I think it's great. I think if you're not sure, then maybe you should get the Game Pass and give it a shot and see if it's for you. I have this copy on um, the Xbox Game Store, but I will be getting a regular old run-of-the-mill copy of it because modding <clears throat> and all that jazz later. get an SSD for it. I would highly recommend that. Highly recommend that. There's a lot of games that actually just run in general. Uh, check for power cells. Pull out a single power cell. Hey! You want to try fixing that computer? Go ahead. I'm packing up, Dusty. Need a power cell. Don't see what good it will do since they're already... Got any more? Only managed to scrounge up one. All right. 
I'm fine, Dusty. In this line of work, you make do. Even when the worst happens. Hell yeah, brother. She's Floridian through and through. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, boys. Oh, that's right. We gotta go around this way. That's a door that doesn't typically want to walk. This is one hell of a setup. I wonder what kind of spaceships they have to, like, get this thing back in the air. Maybe I'm not going the right way. Chad, am I going the wrong way? Do, 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 do. I want all the power cells. You know why? Because I'm a filthy hoarder. I am a filthy hoarder, Chad. That's why. Oh, here's the... Are you... I guess you're not. Stay out there. You don't need to be involved in my thieveries. Ooh, a lemon. And a tablet. Oh, here she comes. Emergency power cell. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Restart collective claim ID Beta 7548 Alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another all run. Vectera's got enough mid level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. That this is another one of Barrett's special orders. He made good with the payment for Kazal, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so sure. This place is giving me the willies. I think we're going to find... something. I just have no idea what it could be, or why Barrett might want it. But those sweet constellation credits mean we dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Government cover-up? Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious thing and the ore itself, We'll be done with this rock in five days when the transport is supposed to come back That's for extraction. That's a quick... That is a quick-ass turnaround on all the stuff. Okay, so that's the way down. We don't want to go that way. Okay. So I think we're starting to get more of the story here of what's going on. Bye, Sarah! You don't have your suit on. Is that Lynn now? That's Lynn. She'll be on her way out momentarily. I do like that they actually have to air cycle. That's a really nice way to phase things. That is a really nice way to unload. Okay, deep mining suit. We're gonna take that because it's not nailed down. Alright, find a clue to Barrett's location. Alright, here we go. Star Wave. Can't believe we got into this mess. Would you be quiet? Trying to make out the grab jump calculations before we're out of range. Out of range of what? Out of range of the sensor array on Vectera. Would okay. you keep up? Once we're outside the star system, the bandwidth goes from instant speed to effectively never. What good is sending a transmission down there? You gotta tell Lynn how royally screwed we both are? She doesn't even have a ship. Do you underestimate how many of my admirers there are in the galaxy, Heller? One of them is bound to show up. Looking to reunite with this handsome face. Oh my god. We're doomed. Cocky son of a Capital bitch. Be doomed. Got it, okay. Whoever finds this, I'm attaching the interstellar coordinates to the metadata on the transmission. Rescue us. Repeat. Rescue us. Alright. <clears throat> we die right ship pirates. Pirates. Okay, so this was Barrett coming in. This was the pirates we experienced. This was the second set of pirates. And then this was us coming in again.
this is gonna be you're a little late there Sarah <clears throat> You're a little late, Sarah, but that's okay. We still love you. Go to Chapel Inn. Get back on the frontier. So, you actually get that computer working again? I did. I'm not just a dumb miner. Found a transmission from Barrett. What? Let me see that. <laughs> oh, screw you. Funny. Even knowing he's alive, I still never want to see him again. Hella, on the other hand. Okay. Let me send you the location data embedded in the transmission. Find them, okay? Alright. I knew you cared about them. You're a softie. Why don't you come... Mm. Well, don't start buying me stuffed animals for my birthday or anything. But yes. Alright. I don't like seeing my people hurt. Even Barrett and Hella. Just get after them, okay? And hey, if you ever need a little extra help, I've been thinking about a career change lately. Oh, she's going to become part Maybe of it. it's time to put Argos behind me. Okay, optional recruit Lynn as crew. <clears throat> it seems like you've been keeping busy, Dusty. Demolition and if, uh, post management. If you find yourself in need of a capable traveling companion, we should talk. So Lynn's good My to remember. My contract's up with Argos, and what kind of goodbye was that? <laughs> the kind where I don't have anything else to say. I might be back for you. We'll see. Otherwise, you'll live your days out here on Vespira. Or Vectera, my best bureau. All right, Sarah, run, Sarah, run. Off right away, or do you need a little bit of time? Uh, no, I just need to plot this. Let's jump. Uh, Altair. I don't think I want to go to Altair. If you recruit her, use her. There's a bug where she might disappear and can't be recruited back. Okay, so then I'm not going to touch her yet. I will come back and get her later. All right. <sighs> we do have to go to Altair. Yeah, let's read that. I don't think we have the... We're only level five. <clears throat> that's level 15 space. I don't think that's a good idea, chat. I don't think that's a good idea. Uh, notes. Loyal to your crew, I get it, but screw that. Beg, borrow, steal, kill to get to Denebola IB or 1B. There's a secret outpost we're trying to crack. Once in a, night, a lifetime opportunity, <clears throat> you will regret it for the rest of your life if you don't get your ass over here. What does Denebola look like right now? How high of a level is that? Let's see. An explore jump. I don't know if it's using the creation engine. That I don't know. Scan another planet. There's uranium on that planet. Okay, and now we still want to get to. Gotta go to Boldy.
Take a scan for contraband, and you can be on your way. All right, bully. All right, we're done. I'm sure they patch those bugs, even if it is the same creation engine. All right, so we got to level six. So we're at Neon. Okay, this is where Neon is. here and see what kind of trouble we can get into. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into. We might completely just get our, our ass handed to us. Do, 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 do. Every time I hear that note of docking, it makes me think of Missy Elliott. I don't know why. The word and we'll get underway. some human take it you were expecting something else it's just that we weren't expecting to find life let alone human life out here we thought we were the only ones to leave earth that was imagine being cut off from humankind for that long how terribly frightening that would be perhaps we should greet our guests of course manners i'm captain diana brackenridge That's how this is Security Officer Bomani Rida. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti Da Costa, one of Mabuti. our Mabuti. <laughs> A pleasure to meet you. What is this ship? You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. What year do you think it is? I'm Lan and I'm here to help. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Humans. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. How did you survive for 200 years? Well, the short answer is we didn't. It's a generation ship, which is to say that most of us live long, happy lives on board and passed our mission down to our children. Like a vault. It was never intended that the original <clears throat> crew would make it to our destination. Okay. The goal was always the preservation of the human race, above all else. Though, it would seem that was perhaps a bit <laughs> presumptuous. Yeah, but they've been using a iteration of the creation engine all the way up through Fallout 4. And now this is creation engine 2. 
We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible that our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. Uh, <clears throat> you know those other human beings. Those others are human beings and they were here first. Of course. We know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge for security purposes. Mm -hmm. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you Time to exist. go? Alright, so let's go up to the bridge. Welcome to the Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios. Climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, Go. Go and on. set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. How did you- oh. Okay, this shit is motherfucking dope. Dope. The game looks really pretty, yeah. But is it... I'm gonna say something I think everybody's been thinking. Is it... Is it 12 years beyond... Uh, Skyrim? And is it 8 years beyond Fallout 4? Now that we know what's out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. I have to say, with technology this outdated, I'm amazed this vessel is able to navigate at all. It's almost like walking through a museum. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. <clears throat> Sounds like you could use some help with your situation. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of... I'm quiet? ...diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? Depends what's in it for me. And I'm looking at my audios. And I'm louder than the game. I'm looking directly at my output audios. Hmm. I wish I could say that the satisfaction of helping others in need is sufficient, but I'm not getting that impression from you. I'm sure we can pull together some resources equivalent to whatever currency you use these days. Yeah, that's a good idea. We'll do what we can to make it worthwhile. And until then, you're free to make use of whatever facilities you need on our ship. I'll help. Just tell me what you need me to do. We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle Am I quiet there, for anybody else? But we assume that they intend to defend their claim, given their presence here. Yeah. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. I'll try, but diplomacy may, uh, diplomacy may require compromise. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such. But initially, I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. Hey, Toby. Uh, are you out of your mind? There's no... 
I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all for the sake of some very weary travelers. Find who another planet, or go to, be to the other side of the planet. Thank you. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work Holy to take shit. down troublemakers. Holy shit. It's got like an old school the shotgun. Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't and, uh, Wes, I don't know what's going on then Never because my, ship like my audios before. are then balanced again. as they always are. When I'm looking at my output, it looks identical to what it always looks like. I mean, maybe the game's a little louder. What we can do is bring down... Effects, footsteps. There's something I need to talk. There we go. We'll talk later. Toby, how are you tonight, bud? How's it going? Engineering. I have to think. All this time, we were alone. Down the stairwell. Fires in Hawaii were found to be caused by negligence on behalf of the power company. Whoa. <clears throat> Look, I know you already colonized a small section of this planet, but maybe give the entire pl Yeah, no, not Wow. Happy. Hi. I'm getting Fallout 3 vibes from the, uh... Wow. I've, I've heard about you, but... Here you are. I'm I'm totally lost here. Security lift. Uh None We've of them. We've got strict <clears throat> rules around here. They're strict for a reason. God, I feel like I'm lost in a vault. Is your chair real? We were never trained to address so, threats coming from show? outside our what ship. What do you mean? Can I show? My chair is real. Yeah. There's my chair. Behind me. Careful waving that fancy gun around. You don't need to see what it can do. Records. I'm not sure what you mean by is my chair real. <laughs> I am not an AI. I am a human being. Restroom, living room. I have no clue how to say. Real and safe. I will say that the, exciting the, the gunplay feels takes really good. A special type. I have something I need to discuss with you. You can wait. Something you can wait. We're, we're lost in here. You can wait, lady. I'm really I'm getting lost more and more lost in here. Records. Mess hall. Careful waving that fancy gun around. We don't need to see what it can do. Mess hall. Never seen a ship like yours before. It's not where I need to go. I wonder what it's like out there beyond. But beyond, thank you for the uh, follow. Welcome on in. Engineering, mess hall. It's not an engineering. Chat, are we? Command bay, lift. Engineering, lift. Cargo bay. We've got strict rules around here, but they're strict for a reason. Is this where we need to go? <clears throat> I wasn't paying attention. I was listening to her. Know what's out there. Okay, there we Things go. are going to be more interesting. <laughs> All right, so they need to speak. Stay out it of does trouble. feel like a ball. Um, now that we have a mission for them, we're gonna go. Do it, do it, do it, do it. When you are captain. And yeah, what I was gonna say is that the gunplay feels like Fallout and Doom had a baby. It's the best way. When I you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Um, let's do this. All right, let's go down to Paradiso. I mean, I could really blow your mind and show you that the chair doesn't need to exist at all. Is the chair real? Now there is no chair. 
Now there is just us standing. All right, so let's go to Paradiso. Do a scan. And let's land. Um, it feels more shootery though, Wes. Even more shootery than three and then four. Like, it, it feels more gunplay. But... But it's not bad. Okay, so let's go out now to here. All right, speak, speak with Chief. All right. <clears throat> this looks like vacation destination. Hope you enjoy your stay, knowing you're in our capable hands. Now, somebody told me, I think it was Tyron, or told Libby, that there's a way to take off your armor. There's a way to automatically take off your helmet. Display. No. I'm not seeing it. So I'm not going to worry about it. I am, however, going to see if I can... Uh. Alright, so let's go have a chat with this guy. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you yes, with? Yes, I do. Is not enough. Uh... <clears throat> is Parody so affiliated with UC or Freestar? <laughs> Neither. We're our own private force. Okay. The Parody so group pays top dollar for top notch security. And I dare say we're some of the best in the business. We have to be out here on the fringes of the settled systems. Sounds like you're the guy I need to speak to. Something I can help you with? Um, I'm here responding to your distress call. Oh, yes. Let's get right to it then. As you can imagine, we've got a predicament on our hands. Okay. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. Okay. So... Before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Sure. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around <clears> our planet. <throat> so far, it doesn't seem to be hostile. But any attempts to communicate with it have been in we vain, have information for you so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. It's a colony to Earth. I've already spoken to them. They wanted me to communicate with you. I see. Well, if you're speaking on their behalf, I'll refer you right along to the chairman of the Paradiso Group's board, Oliver Campbell. All formal decisions will go through him, not me. I'll let him know you're on your way. Alright, so now we need to negotiate with Oliver Campbell. Ooh, fish ball. Coffee bags.
Looks like we're going to the resort, boys. Who wants to go on vacay? There we go. What's up, Ragin? How you doing tonight? How was your weekend? <clears throat> you safe and sound? Oh, Paradiso is absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more tranquil place for a resort? I didn't even know this place was a thing. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble from time to time. I'm here to help if you need it. Nah, I'm good. Been working late the last few days. I wish I could just stay for longer. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop and Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to aggro with me. I love me. it. Tracer, thank you for the lurk, bud. Enjoy your lurk. Uh, why do I get the impression you don't like your job? Why would I? I have to sell overpriced crap to rude, obnoxious tourists all day. There are literal My guns behind works you. for the Paradiso board. When he said he could get me a job here, I expected an executive level job, not this. Oh, so you're above this. <sighs> but it's not all bad. I don't have to worry about getting fired. And I live in Paradiso for free. <laughs> now, can I get you something or are you going to keep asking questions I about I might keep my asking life? you questions about your life. You sure I can't talk you down the prices? No. Ugh. You people always think that just because we're some French planet and not part of the free stars or whatever, that we're happy to haggle for everything. <laughs> I wouldn't even no, care, honestly. But they take it out she of my mad. pay if any money's missing. So no, no discount. There you go. Thank you for coming to Disney. Have a nice time. Don't murder anyone. The deluxe penthouse. Let's go check that out, guys. We got time. You guys have probably been bored to death of the. This is unlocked elsewhere. This is inaccessible. You guys have probably been bored to death of the main quest line, so. I don't think this is a main quest at all. When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. As soon as we're yeah, done with this, it? Sarah, we will get to it. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Uh, I kind of do. You have a problem with the ship in orbit, and I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? No. What's it like working for Parody, so? I can't speak for anyone else, <clears throat> but I've got a pretty high-pressure job working as the executive assistant to the Paradiso board. You can imagine dealing with a team of execs trying to manage all of their schedules and their other whims. But it pays well, and they give me a nice executive suite at the hotel <clears throat> to live in. So it's not all bad. Free access to all the resort's amenities after work helps, too. What were everyone's thoughts when the ECS constant showed up? People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. I want to see what both it sides of the so table are different. saying. It's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then, nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be... Bad Probably. Probably. Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. <laughs> and don't worry. Even they call it that. That's great. All right. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenity. Think of our helmet at least. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash filled dump like Neon. That's okay. not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. The alarm's right. 
Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon, but... Hello. I didn't realize Kiwi was letting people in here. Are you really the only three... You operate this resort outside the settled systems, don't you? Not quite. We just don't answer to the Free Star Collective or the United Colonies. Makes things easier. We don't pay <laughs> taxes. We don't need to follow their laws. All the benefits, none of the drawbacks. And no one minds because half the politicians and other big shots love vacationing here. Works for everyone. No, this is kind of scummy. This is kind of scummy. Uh, are you really the only three board members? No, of course not. There's several more. We're just the ones who show up day to day. The others spend their time lazing on the beach, gallivanting off world. Doesn't bother me though. Less cooks in the kitchen means I get to make all the big decisions around here. Seems to be working out for us just fine. Are you gonna marry Sarah? Uh, Wolf? I understand you're the man I need to talk to about the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> That's despicable. Despicable? Hardly. <clears throat> Just a Beckett plan in case we can't get them to leave. But you're right. No one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. Uh. What if I told you it really was an alien mothership here to destroy the planet? Old Earth colonists desperate to settle after 200 years. I'm sure you can exploit that. It's a rickety old Earth ship full of uptight colonists who think they own your planet. It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth here after a 200 year journey. Let's go with the most neutral language of all. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Yeah, no. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. I don't like either group of these people. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. These are human beings and you're worried about landscaping? That's fucking absurd. Well, absurd or not, that's our official stance. I make the decisions that are best for our entire group. You don't. You just told me to make the decision. Are you suggesting I destroy the ship? No, I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. 
We need to let some other authority handle this. We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC, partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. This is wild. And we'd rather not draw attention to it. As I've mentioned, it could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. I think I've made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. What if after all this they continue to insist their claim to the planet predates yours? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective. Like, I don't want to... Centaurus Proclamation. McKay we plays! Welcome on in. How are you guys tonight? That charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, Wolf, but welcome. you're going to need to be the one to break the news to Tiffy, him. how are you? To make a compromise or leave. Alright, so for those of you just joining us, we are currently playing... Uh, Starfield and we have met a ship that flew from Earth 200 years ago and they are claiming that they own the rights to the, the planet and these plunkers uh, have a resort on this planet um you played in 26 hours woo woo and my guys, go give McKay's play some love. Please check them out. Join me in this shout out, if you will, for McKay plays. Guys, go give them a follow. They've been hanging out. They've been here. They've been awesome for a long time. And they were playing tonight. What were they playing? Warframe. Uh-oh. What is it Tiffy or Matthew who has the, the Warframe needle in their arm? Which one of you is it? Which one of you is it? Which one of you has the Warframe needle? But guys, go give this a love. They play a lot of great games and they have a lot of great conversation. They do cooking. They do art. They do all kinds of things. Go give them. Matt's the one that played. Okay. Okay. We did Warframe. Yes. I, I see that because I see Tiffy. I see you have your pronouns and I see Tiffy's. So I figured you just hold the main account and Tiffy holds the other part of the account. But so you play Warframe. Okay. That's, I figure that's how it worked, just for all intents and, pro and purposes. Ahem. I don't, you're gonna wait, you're, no. You're not gonna ahem me, motherfucker. This is, this is my playthrough, and you're gonna be polite. I know you're not used to people making you wait, but you're gonna fucking wait, you muppet. Sorry about that. 44 hours, and that's counting this session. Okay. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased oh, population. Oh, I love the sassy NPCs. Don't care how you procure them. Well, thank Just you. make sure to thank bring you, them you. here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Oh, how can we treat these people this way? They survived in space this long, only to end up as indentured servants. Oh, it's terrible. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso group... Actually, that being said, I, I can't in all good conscience take it this way. We're going to go back... to here. Because I don't like this deal. I don't like it. Like, I thought I didn't like the people in the spaceship... No, those motherfuckers are cool compared to these fucking muppets. That being said, Let me have a moment. I think these are like to, to you. Maybe build a It's gonna take some work to make room for our new colonist guests. And you tell me. Right, uh, back to work. No, I believe good. our arrangement with I'll Go look on into now. What that Joy Paradise. So we uh We're gonna go there. We're gonna go there. But welcome on in, guys. Welcome, welcome. Tiffy, how have you been? How's your how's There's something your, how's I your need week? to talk to you about. Can I help? If the Paradiso board is busy enough, let me know if I'm able to help with it. Between you and me, I'm kind of glad most of the execs never show. Excuse me, you can't... I really don't, and I can't have you barging in. Okay, that's fine. You don't know who oh, I am. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for that's then. That's fine. All right, so we're going to go back in there. Sure. And we're Pass basically going to just like... Take. And don't worry, even... Security is only here for your safety. 
I All right, we'll try this again. That we should if it's not important, bring it up with me. the beauty of this planet, not our amenities. I am. And, but given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. Crazy buckets. We've got our friends, the we're doing well. aliens doing well. up there. The hurricane barely missed us, so we're, we're good. You like that? Let's just get to the matter at hand. Ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, yep, we are safe. what do you know about this dodgy ship on... What would you say if I told you it was really an alien mothership here to destroy the planet? I'd say you're full of it and might have been watching too many movies. Now, instead of wasting my time, want to tell me what it really is? It's a generate. uh... I don't like any of these answers, chat. It's a generation ship full of colonists from Earth. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, we're, we're doing okay. And yeah, school here started three weeks ago. So there's that. But yeah, I can understand being in the school year being crazy buckets. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly. Now, tell me. What are we going? Hmm. They could stay here, temporarily, but it'll cost them quite a bit too. So they need to work off all their debts before being allowed to sweet leave. Sweet roll. Uh, face. Maybe Good old not. Sweet roll, meat roll. I wish we could. What if we? We could even lend our engineers. To Sounds costly. Someone else would have. To oh, I swear this would be a lot. Why can't we let... Uh... We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in this our is, brochures. This is scummy as shit, Chad. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. I understand your point from business stance, but I disagree. And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make to approved be. decisions True. around here, not you. So, as much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso be Group Tim to Curry take it vibes. into account. Um, they can live here, but they'd be indentured servants? Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract. For room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, Thank there's you. no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their this is fucking scummy. room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> Why do I have to buy the grab drive? It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grave drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. And which proposal? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. And this goes back to Earth, you dipshit. We may be outside the settled systems, but that child as official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Fine, I'll buy the goddamn grav drive. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grav drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return. Though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. I know this was a difficult decision. But if it's any consolation, I think you've made the right choice. It's not your Compared money. Compared to the destruction of their vessel it's my and money. relegating them to a life of and I want it now. I'd say this is the best chance they've got. Son of a right. bitch. On behalf of the Paradiso group, we appreciate <clears throat> yeah, your go help. yourself, buddy. There are go millions of planets yourself. out there. When you People can go to any one of this, them. something I'd the like to discuss. Yeah, when my wallet doesn't hurt so fucking bad, we can talk, Sarah. 
What kind of Muppet ass bullshit is that? I got to pay for their fucking grab drive? No major incidents in a while. Let's hope it stays that way. Hmm. No One comment. Days, I'd love to experience oh, this I won't be like staying at your fucking resort. Day. People are heartless. Might also be the perfect time to stop for some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? People are fucking horrible. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. Hey, get off this fucking planet, lady. Uh, they're, all their employees are probably indentured servitude. Like, just get them the fuck off this... I gotta go to Hope Tech. Where the hell is Hope Tech? Isn't Hope Tech on another planet? How expensive. Why is my guy disappeared? I only have 31,000 credits. Your safety is our number one priority. Yeah, fuck you. Hello, and welcome back. Mr. Tofik, I am aware that this is your eighth visit to our resort. I hate this place. It might be time to steal a, gra a grab drive. 40k. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Move on. Where the hell are we going? We gotta go, yeah. Out of fuel range. All right, I guess we're going to We're jumping to Olympus. So far, watching the streamers, I'm not impressed. We should have a tour. Really good when wolf. This is time, of course. Uh, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Um, so far, it's actually been really good. This is our first, our first bit of bad juju we've had. Honestly, it's not been bad. If you're looking for Star Citizen or No Man's Sky or Elite with an RPG, it's not going to be good. But if you're looking for Fallout in space, it's great. It's all through the lens you're looking at. Alright. Alright, let's scan your planet. Um, yeah. that's where I thought I would. I'm already at that location. Extreme environment. Is it Nira? I, I don't think I want to go to Nira. Ancelon, Nira, Magrath, Uth. What do you mean you can't pilot them? Odious? What are you doing back here? Oh boy, something's about to jump in. Prepare to face 
Ready to face my judgment. I'm gonna have to fight this thing, aren't I? Accept your suffering, heathen. combat simulator that's not what it is it doesn't feel like elite and that's okay oh look spare parts yes yeah it's quicker oh, that hurt all right so now we can have a I don't know if they have flight stick support and Hannah I'm sure you could just fly around looking for trouble all day all right here that's where I think I'm gonna take a quick break because I need to use the restroom and probably take the dogs out as well so I'm gonna do that take a quick fiber and we are going to take why did you run a two-minute ad? I was going to run a five-minute ad. Okay, so that being said, the ad is running. I'm going to take a quick break, and we will be right back. Also, Ray, as a as a mod, you have access to commands that you don't have to do that, bruh. I can show you how to do that as a mod. All right, so we'll be right back, guys. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. What is this shit? What is this now playing widget? All right. Um, and we will be back, guys. Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We're going to be back in a couple of months after the action.
Okay, so that part was pretty cool. Pretty cool. All right. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I'm coming back. All right. Uh, what I want to show you guys, we come to room scene. You guys can hear me, right? Yep, you can hear me. Okay. Uh... I was just outside, and just as I happened to take my break, this is what I got a view of. Now, for those of you that don't know what that is, that is a rocket sailing into the night. Nazca, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. So that is a Starlink. I, th I don't know if that's actually Starlink tonight. I don't know who it is, but I live where the... Uh, space shots go from. So I'm literally playing a space game <laughs> and I go to take the dogs out on my break and there's a rocket. Yeah, Wolf, I'm in Florida. So, ironically, we're playing a space game where we, uh, well, where here. we, we, we deal should, with rockets we and in real life I walk outside and there's launch. Goes. There's launches like every five nights here though. Like, this is becoming, like, a weekly thing here again. It's kind of cool. All right, buddy. Need some work done? Hey, what can I do for you? I need some okay, repairs. sure. We'll take care of any holes, broken seals, that Are you up thing. near Virginia? Are you in Florida as well? Connecticut? Okay, yeah. So, so you see the northern trajectory. I'm literally 30 minutes from the Cape, so... Excuse but I walk outside, I'm like, holy shit, that's a wrong. Here. This is such a I remember meeting Ron Hope once. Right, Adela. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, God. And Naska, how are you tonight, buddy? How's it going? Um, you don't look... You don't look like things are going well. <laughs> I'm just great. Grand, really. <clears throat> when I that's signed on to be says. a freight captain... I was expecting long hours and dull roots. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or worse. Uh... Tell me what's wrong. Where to start? So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Mm -hmm. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping. Boring stuff like actuators. I'm not believing this woman. Stock, There's something about her minerals. story I don't believe. Have you ever had a standard, boring job just blow up in your face? <laughs> uh... Lots of us people just used to people... Lots of people just use people like us without giving a shit about us. I look at situations like that as an opportunity. That's... not helpful. <laughs> So, I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. She didn't like that answer. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. Okay. I skipped the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. What were you actually shipping? I don't know. I was just flying for my life. But some bad people want it. Uh, I'm not sure I really believe this. That is really terrible. It gets even worse. Oh. A tracker just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. And thank you for the 100 but bits, the trick is, White Hatter. Everyone knows we're the ship. All the bits but my this info month isn't into in the database yet. this. All so they got is my last month, name, all Fahim. The bits that are tallied up. So if you go into the pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim of the Markab, maybe... You can deal with the tracker? Oh my god. I guess I'm Captain Fahim then. You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's the one with the cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Why do I agree Thank to this you. shit? Alright. Uh, and yeah, so those 100 biddies, thank you for that, White Hatter. Everything we make this month is going into the American Association for Cancer Research. They are doing a huge push this month for uh, um, to raise awareness and to raise funds to combat uh, cancer. 
And for those of you that don't know, the American Association for Cancer Research actually is the organization that gives a lot of grants and a lot of money to various other cancer organizations that actually do the research and such. And um, they have awarded over $545 million for over 900 grants. Um, and they have, Jesus, what is it, 56 Nobel, let me see. More than 50,000 members, including 56 Nobel Prize winners. Um, but so all month long, we are raising money for Players vs. Cancer, uh, which is a part of the American Association for Cancer Research. Um, and everything we make this month is going to be going to them. So if you guys want to donate, that's the link in the chat. Um, and that goes directly to them. And then at the end of the month, I'm going to take all of the bits and all of the money we made and put it into that as well. So that being said, that's what we're about this month. But thank you for the 100 bitties. I do appreciate it. But it will be going towards cancer research because uh, a lot of you new folks don't, I don't know this, but I actually complaints. lost my dad to cancer 2012. Yeah, nice right, so pit stop. So let's go in here and talk to this guy. We should have a talk when you have the time, of course. Okay. He's, yes. Right, let me, what? I, okay, I hear you. Let me have this conversation. Then we'll Ernesto. I'm new in town. You look like you just got here too, right? Uh, What's your name, stranger? I buy you a drink. Mm. Captain Fahim. Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship to Markov? Yeah. I bet you didn't know it. But I'm a tracker. And I'm here for your bounty. Okay. Two ways this can go. You know the drill. You got me. I'm very surprised. Can't we come to an arrangement? Are you going to shoot me here? A bounty? Why me? A bounty? Why me? Bounty says you made off with a haul of medical supplies meant for orphans or something. That's bad. I get a bonus if I turn the shipment in sight on scene. I figure they're in the market. I have no clue. Uh, you don't seem so bad. I haven't done anything wrong. Let's not do this. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? I didn't. The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with Yeah. Me. Not sure what. Ah, uh, Adela doesn't deserve this bounty on her. The whole thing doesn't add up. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. Uh, so we have to, we have three turns to do for... You're the one that said that smells, this smells fishy. Trust your gut. That thing that smells... Might be you. Ah, oh, Christ. Okay, thank you for that, buddy. How are you tonight? How's it going? Everyone's after the shipment. Whoever hired you is lying. The bounty is awfully large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. Hey, thank you so well, much, that buddy. just means somebody else will. Whatever you were shipping, you got to return it. Almost a year, the yeah. The next tracker probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Where you been? What you been up to? Um, my name is actually Lanthios, and I don't have the shipment. Whatever you say, Fahim. Gotta get ready for bed. You almost sound believable. Okay. One more drink, and it's lift off. All right. Hello. Let's deal with her. And then we will talk to Sarah. Because Sarah is like, I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. I need to talk to you. All right, Sarah. I feel okay. sick. This can't be happening. Anything you left out? I mean, maybe. At my sixth birthday, the theme was unicorns. Sorry, bad joke. <laughs> fair, fair okay. Um... Convince the tracker to let you go. I feel like I can finally yourself? breathe again. They're not done with you. Thank There's going to be more, I'm sure. I swear oh, I you're lucky this tracker was a good guy. Don't worry. Everyone keeps half an eye on the I figured I got a reward coming. Yes. We need to eat I don't mean to be shit. ungrateful and all, but I really, really need to go. Thank you. Hey. Okay, 2,000 credits. Thanks for taking the time to talk. I wanted to ask you about the artifact you found on Vectera. Okay. When you pulled it from the rock, held it in your hands for the first time, 
How did you feel? Uh, it's a strange question out of nowhere. Maybe, but I'd appreciate it if you'd hear me out. Um, visions, sounds, music, difficult to describe. No, no, I, I don't think you understand. I know about the visions, the light, and the music. Okay. How did you feel inside? What were your thoughts? Fuck is this shit? You want to talk about my feelings? Um, it was like being instantly pulled across the entire galaxy. What's with the psychiatry? Psychiatry? Psychiatry session, Doc. If we're going to unlock the secrets of these artifacts, we're going to need more than simple empirical data. We'll need to dig deeper. It would be helpful if you'd just tell me how holding the artifact made you feel. Um, like I was being pulled across the whole galaxy. God. Oh my goodness. What is with feelings? That must have been terrifying. I don't want to talk about my when feelings. When it comes to the artifacts, it never ceases to amaze me how feelings, the science, guys. well, simply fails. Why didn't you bring this back up at the lodge? Honestly, I wasn't sure how you'd react. Some people would consider what you went through a deep. You doing anything fun tomorrow for Labor Day? Okay. Ooh, I want to share all my personal experiences with you. Oh, well, uh, I uh, I enjoy hearing about them <laughs> professionally, nope. of course. Either way, just um, a stay KVK day. We need all the help we can get. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain <laughs> one of every them reached of out Amen, and brother. spoke to Amen, brother. quite the mystery. Okay. Uh, when you say it spoke to me, what exactly do you mean? Well, why is judging Marshall Mathers from the back fact there? that both you and Barrett claim to have heard music, I've made the leap that the artifact was reaching out. Little Music around. composition might not consist of words and sentences, but I'll be damned if that isn't an attempt at language. Uh, I definitely felt like it was trying to communicate. Agreed. Unfortunately, there's no way that I know of to reply. And believe me, I've been trying to gather data on the damn things for years. Hmm. Is this the only project you're working on at Constellation? Oh, no, not at all. There's so much going on there, look like I can't afford to divert all of our resources. But I have classified the artifacts as a priority project. Uh... Certainly is a unique obsession. Does that really surprise you? A universal mystery left unsolved for God knows how long? Oh, I've been dreaming about solving this puzzle from the beginning. And we'll get to the bottom of this together. I knew I picked the right person for the job. Look, I wanted to thank you for taking the time to talk. You and didn't for give me an option. An mind. And I also you didn't give me to an say, option. Well, I'm pleased we're on this journey together. <laughs> it's the best decision I've made Christ. in quite a long time. All right, what do you fucking want, Eminem? Keep an eye on your valuables. It kind of looks like can't protect your own. the guy from Prison Break, Eminem, and the guy from The Hobbit all mixed you together. You don't here. Ron hopes the best thing to happen to us. Right, now we're gonna have to find out how much We'd fucking be dust, grab, except for the fact. Damn, grab drive is gonna cost us. Why am I giving all my money away for somebody else's grab drive? Ron Hope certainly embodies the saying, spared no expense. Yeah, spared no expense, and I'm going to have to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. Just three more to go until break. Oh, oh, hello. I'm not used to people wanting to talk to me. I like this guy. Ah, uh, I hear you're an expert with grab drives and other ship parts. I need to ask a favor. Sure, that sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. They're still really stiff. Uh, Oliver Campbell sent me. I'm here about a grab drive for an old colony ship. Oh, you should have just said that. 
Yeah, how much of course I can help you. Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. It's some oh minor adjustments. How much is it going to cost? It's me? a good ship, too. Parts not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor, and it's yours. Maybe we can find a lower price than that. Step rocket, Daddy? It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. <clears throat> Surely the profit you make doesn't compare to the freedom you'd be giving these people. You've had that old part for how long and no one's offered to buy it? True. <clears throat> I keep telling myself I'm holding on to it for the right time. Okay. Perhaps this is that right time. Hmm. Come on, something's better than nothing, right? That's true. I'm sure we can work something out. Sorry. No! I can't. You know, I have to make a living too. And Hope Tech can't just give away parts for free. Sorry, but I've got to charge you the same price as everyone else. I'm Jack's disappointment. You're done right at this. I'll get to... I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with that. Pleasure working with you. Wait, 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 wait. You, you took... You took my money. I didn't even have 40,000 credits. Reese's pieces. Did we just get it for a better deal? I think we found a bug. I think we stupid ass helmet. I think we found a better off better orders. Deal. Nothing good ever comes from them. Listen, I don't want to know where you are. Cloudy, how are you? Yeah, it seemed like I think I only had like 31,000. So I mean, I'm flat broke again. Oh, I think I just scammed the NPC, yeah. I think we just scammed him. Just keep it holstered, and we'll get along fine. But you know what? I'm fine scamming them. We need to make some money, Chad, is what we need to Howdy. do. Howdy. We need to find a way to make some money. Always something going on around here. I'm glad we, we paid to have our ship fixed. Cloud, how you been, buddy? How was your day? How's it going on your end of the world? You're darn tootin' we We're just counted four. <laughs> We're ready to depart. Alright, so let's see where we gotta go. Uh, 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 uh. We're gonna go back to Voli. Jump to Voli. And then we'll go back to last jump. Approaching ship. You've entered free... Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Let's go right through the planet. Let's see what happens. That's all we need. Enjoy the Eon. I'm not going to Neon. Fuck Neon. Right through the planet. Sonic booms out the wazoo. Space, no one can hear you scam. Hey, I am happy that we scammed the big mega corp. Fuck them. I'm fine with that decision. I am fine with that decision. Board. 
All right, so we got to go talk to the captain again, I guess, and tell her, hey, you know, you thought you were going to get this pristine, like, paradise planet. Not happening. Sorry. Sorry. Not happening. Blaze, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. If you're expecting Fallout in space, we were never trained to address threats get that. coming from outside our ship. If you are the expecting, Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. If you are expecting, okay. you know, just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't uh, work. Star Citizen or uh, Elite with an RPG, it's not that. That's okay. I think them making the decision. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work I think them making, making the decision to, like, not have landing and take off and not making the planets completely, like, walkable, I think was a smart idea. Engineering. Here we go. People always appreciate a good engineer, whether they know it or not. They're very different games, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was hoping to talk to our visitor from outer space, and here you are! Welcome, welcome! I have a million burning questions, but I won't overwhelm you. There will be plenty of time for that later. Please, indulge me just a couple. How did you do it? Did humanity finally discover faster than light travel and eclipse our poor old ship? Yes. Uh, we have tech called Grav Drive that allows a ship to bend space. How do I agree? I agree. It is an upgrade to that engine. It is not a space sim. It is a space RPG. And it very much feels like the next evolution of a Fallout engine. Or a mod, yeah. Ah, I know. As somebody who has thousands of hours in Fallout. It's incredible. Thousands of gigs. I read about this in technology files in Fallout our podcast from Earth, but yeah. it was only theoretical back then. Amazing! I'll have to learn more. Oh, you're about to learn oh, a lot about it. I've got so many questions, but I'm being rude. I haven't even given you my name. Chief Engineer Kazemi. But you can call me Amin. I mean. And I might add, I'm one of the reasons we're still floating out here today. Uh, I'm Lanthios. There's something else I need to talk to you. Whatever. I'm Lan. Look, I need to go. I get it. You need to know what's changed since your ship departed. If you know it's rude, maybe you should stop me. Pardon me. See, what I want to know is this thing above my head. This is on the colonies. This is like their Google homes or whatever. How is it on the ship? And I think they screwed up here. Yes, of course. I think they should have, Anything for like, my new friend. Uh, I'm supposed to help prep you for the ship, for the grab drive. What grab drive? <laughs> Just joking with you. Nobody's communicating the with them. We started the communication in. with them in the, in the mainland. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun. And... Hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. Yeah, so I, just I feel like word that the Bethesda kind of whiffed this one. Ready to get to work? Ready as I can be. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. Okay. First thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo <clears> pump <throat> to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary module assembly. Got it? Let's hop to it. You really want me to do these things? Okay, so the issue is this ship is from Earth. From 200 years ago, from when the Earth died, this was one of the first ships to take off. And it's been traveling for 200 years. It's a generational ship. Um, it did not have, like, any faster-than-light technology like the rest of the people did that have colonized now these planets. They're just getting here. And they have the same things, these things, these Eggman desk assistants. It's like a Google device on their desk that the same thing they have on the planets. And it's like, why do you have these same things that the planets do? It's just... Um, it, it just, it, it don't make sense. Nope, not wrong to me. Um, prepare the ship for grab drive. Reroute power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. 
Right, and that's that's what I'm saying. So this I've spent my entire alpha, life. So this is probably the first one. Cryogenic turbo cryo pump. Turbo pump. What? From the constant. Reroute power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Um. Port turbo pump. The cryogen. Okay. Not sure how else to live. Then we need to do. Just like they have the same computers as the planet. Turn the plasma runoff inhibitor to 5%. There's another thing, they have the same computer OS's. Plasma runoff inhibitor to, to 5%. And then... Hey! Decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosure from the auxiliary. So magnetic flange pipe enclosure. Decouple. Auxiliary module assembly. Uh, magnetic flange pipe enclosure. Decoupled. Uh, forgot. Damn it. Streamer brain. Magnetic flange pipe. Auxiliary module. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. I can't remember what the other part is. Okay. Done. Looks like everything is... I never thought I'd be so happy to learn about a brand new piece of technology. Yes! So many! Does everyone have their own spaceships like Not you? Not everyone. Do people only live on naturally habitable planets? Or habitable. do they learn to terraform? Are we in contact with alien species? I have so many more, but I don't want to take up all your time. I mean, there are aliens, but not like aliens. <laughs> um, not everyone has ships, but many do. Ha <laughs> I knew it. Incredible. Amazing! Simply amazing! In our ancestors' time, only the very wealthy could afford to build ships. This guy's so excited about it. Even this ship was only possible by our families pulling together nearly all of their financial resources. Hey, Lost, how are you tonight, bud? Um... We just use HAB units and suits. Hmm. I'm not surprised. The amount of energy it would Doing take well, to lost. terraform an entire planet seems improbable. Improbable. I can assume these types of colonies are strictly for mining and gathering rare resources since there are nearly limitless habitable planets to choose habitable. from out there. Habitable? Habit? Habit? It would be ha habitable? I, I don't know. No sentient life, diverse living creatures. Mm. How was your weekend? But not unexpected. When you showed up, I tried to tell the others about the Fermi Paradox. Oh my god. I suggested that the most likely explanation for oh you was that humanity had developed faster, more advanced technology and had leapfrogged us. Seems I was right. Yeah, you were right. Uh, that's all the questions I have time for now. Ah, thank you for taking the time to talk with me. I can have a bit of a big personality, I'm told. I might be able to swipe so this guy from my ship. let me know if I ever get on your nerves. As an engineer. So long. Aww. All fun times.
times must come to an end. Man Bay, that's where we want to go. We've got strict rules around here. <clears throat> Y'all keep telling me about your rules, but this is the conversation. Careful waving that fancy gun around. I don't have any gun out, dipshit. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. We didn't believe anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Safe travels to you. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. Okay, your grab drive is installed. I'm fucking broke. Is that a Star Fort sleep, uh, Starfleet uniform? Maybe. Well, well, it would appear Isn't we so have many. the That's means to go to nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. Thank you again for all you've She's done. She's really like happy. Sure, let's talk about payment now. Mm. Payment. I hope that's not all you care about. It's not enough to help a ship full of poor colonists uh. searching for a new home, I suppose. Still, you did help us. We don't have much to spare, but I'm sure we can find some way of repaying you. Lady, I just spent 40,000 for me. Okay, it's XM 2311. Oh, tell me. Tell me that that's... Oh shit. We gotta get some 45 caliber for it, but. Oh my god. Oh my god. Never seen a ship like this. It's like before. a it's like a Springfield and a 1911 put together. Hang on, let's take a look. It looks like a Springfield. Yeah, it kind of looks like a cross between a Springfield and a 1911. It's, it's pretty. I'm not gonna lie. That might be worth it. it might be the most expensive gun I own. It cost me 31,000 credits. Before you arrive. Take no offense, but I am keeping an eye on you. I. Now that we know what's out there. I am sorry, but I have to take all these Eggmans. Boy, these Eggmans don't belong on the ship. Some sort of alien. Okay. Do that. Deception. Persuasion, scavenging, theft. Scavenging. Commerce or persuasion chat? Distance of my travels to Colonia in the last few days. Oh, so you're back in Elite again. Piloting. We're going to take that. You think persuasion? I kind of have to agree with you. It's either persuasion. I mean, there's commerce, eh? Persuasion or God damn fucking ads, or scavenging. Actually, we're gonna do both. All right, we're gonna steal all the eggs on the way out. Is there any more eggs? Now that we know there are other people out there, we need to be more prepared for trouble than ever. Steal that. And that. Is it really necessary for you to drag around all that gear? I, somebody's got to make money in this crew. Somebody's got to make some fucking money, Sarah, and it doesn't seem like it's you. Brackenridge. That sounds so familiar. 
Something from history slates that I've read? Oh, I feel I should know who this person is, but somehow it's escaped my memory. Nice, dude. That's some good money. Take that. Yes, I know. I'm over encumbered. We need to make some money, chat. Uh, let's go down to, let's see if the maintenance level is where we need to be. God, they've all, they've got all these old shotguns and everything. I kind of want to steal a shotgun. I feel like I'm in the Institute. Like a lot of these things feels like the Institute. Of course. This must be how the colony ship kept itself fed over all these years in space. Yeah. You're just now getting ship. that? Don't change that. What is there to change? It's a fucking chair, lady. Did I unlock the eye? No. Should I? Should I? The one with, did I do the Vladimir thing? No, not yet. Okay, undock. We were trying to deal with something else and then I just got sidetracked into that. Like you can't believe. Where the Altair system? Where the secret base? Okay, we'll do that. That's fine. I will give that a shot. We'll probably have to go back. Yeah, back to Alpha Centauri. Alright. We're done there. Hell yeah, brother. We're gonna jump right next to their ship. Ripping their ship apart. Because they have been a giant pain in my ass for the last hour. Alright, so we're gonna go there. Your grab jumps are as majestic as a bad. Not my problem. Not my problem right now. Sorry, not my problem. I've got other things to contend with. Travel to the eye. Ah, oh, yes, because space travel is that zippy, guys. This is Constellation Star Station L0868. Welcome aboard. We are speed. SpaceX finally docked with the space station. That 
took like six hours for them to do. And here we're doing it in a matter of minutes. All right, so let's transfer. Go in here. Throw that in there. Weapons. We're going to throw that guy in there. Throw that in there. All right, so boop, boop, boop. Let's pack spacesuits. Drop that off because we don't need it. 117. Miscellaneous. Throw all the scrap in here. I wish Digipicks weren't in in uh in emergency. Alright, so we're back down to 93 out of 135. That's fine. Yes, here your eminence. Here we go again on our own. It's good to be back on board. It's good to be back on board. Don't mind if I do. What you got? Oh, that's a nice touch. Mmm, coffee bag. Coffee's expensive. Are you not using the, like, plotter? Ah, yes. You're exactly what I thought for, for Vladimir. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. I love this. It's pirate talk, isn't it? Former Crimson Fleet. An old Jacobones would be the term for it. Back in my day. Left that life behind me. Even before I signed up with Constellation, I was retired. Eyes. I'm no rook. An honest job. No shame in debt. Some of us have done far worse. We've all come from different I like walks Vladimir. of life. I like wish Vladimir. I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Peeking through the eye? That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. The only thing is for them portraying him as old as he is, like his sh his neck and his chest and his shoulders are way too smooth for someone his age. Someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. He needs more wrinkles, yeah. Now, it's too smooth. this station, the eye... Rigged up His for eyes deep are too space clean. scans. His skin is too... Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. Okay. But the data takes a slow ride along the sea of light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Yeah, they, they have never been. You're right. That's fair. You're asking me to chase ghosts there could be nothing wouldn't be tipping your ear if i thought it was a waste of time giving you the best of what's available no okay. more you won't be the only constellation out there andresia and mateo are both following Have up on scans themselves mateo went out recently but andresia it's been a while okay hate to pull the worried old man act on you but i'm an old man and I'm worried. What are you worried about? I'll keep an eye out for Andrea. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. He's such a kind old man. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. That's fair. Anyway. Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look so, at. So... Happy hunting. Draw the words another time, then. Alright, so then... It seems like he's given up us a mission. I got a taste for... I don't know what the reference is, Captain Dealer. I don't know what the reference is. You're going to have to tell me. Oh, yeah. Let's get dumbbells. Huge mass. No pack eggs. I don't want to take any more of his stuff. Nutcracker? Like the ballet? 
dun 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 Heavy particle fuse, light particle fuse. Damn, he's got some... Got some heavy duty ship up here. Pack of smokes. Ah, yes, keep your smokes in the fridge. Or even better, chat, don't smoke. Oh, sorry, Sarah. So let's go off to let's go off to find Alejandra. Nope, nope. Yep. Go to Tau Seti 8B. I have a feeling this is gonna be no pain, no gain. I have a feeling this is gonna be a a deep run. that pistol up here. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's... And they actually rendered our ship. Chat? Consider me impressed. Consider me impressed. Is the vendor price? I get they wanted the skill to increase from vendor price sales, but dear God, it's soul crushing to carry something worth 100 or 15k. Right, or spend 40,000 for a grab drive. <laughs> Sorry, I'm salty. How you been, Tin? Has all been with you. Sorry, I'm salty. I had a side quest where I had to spend forty thousand dollars, and I'm broke as a joke now. I am like flat broke. I am broke as a joke, and I'm not happy about it. So we did scam the the, the engineer out of nine thousand credits. Lots of work. Hoping to spend the rest of the night tomorrow playing Starfield. Nice. Have I been here? The Alma guest. No. Alright, okay, so we need to go. Uh, let's look here. Go to. Tau Seti 8. Tau Seti. Thanatos. It has been a while. It has been a long while. Okay, so there's Tau Seti. I went the wrong way. It has been a long while, Tim. Boss, there's no way it's 103 years old. There's no way, though. There is no way it's been 100 years Alright, so Tau Seti. Find the artifact. Scan the planet. And it's it's very good, Tin. Are you um Are you on the uh on the early access to it or are you I guess if you're playing it tomorrow then yeah. Ah, I don't consider you a short time. I do not consider you a short time. Damn it, Captain. Now you got me thinking. 
Now you got me thinking about the Nutcracker musical, which is once away. Just Corin, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. What were you playing? Great. Welcome, welcome. Before we get in on this uh, fight over here that's gonna happen, how are you doing? Just playing Starfield? Are you enjoying it so far? Are you one of the people that are like, hey, it's Fallout in space and it's cool? Or are you one of the, it doesn't live up to ED, Star Citizen, No Man's Sky with RPG? Which side of the camp are you on? I heard that Todd said modders can add systems and or planets. Yes, yes. And awesome, Corin. Well, welcome guys. My name is Lan, I'm a variety caster. And the only real rule around here is respect. And um, Corin, respect for bringing your crew in. Thank you. Can we get a cast uh, shout out please or a caster command for uh, Corin? Um, and guys, I'm gonna do something else. If you can't take a second and click that heart, then what are you doing? Because you never know whose content you're gonna absolutely fall in love with. But that being said, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, and I heard a really, really endearing story. For those of you um, that know Fallout 4 and Skyrim days of modding, Eleonora was the, actually, I wanna, I wanna show this. Um, Eleonora was the de facto person that did so many mods and so many great building mods and everything, and I wanna do this without exposing my DMs with Libby, because Libby was the one who sent me this. Um, but it was such a heartfelt thing that I saw. Corin, thank you for the follow, and I will definitely be around your channel to see your content. It is always a pleasure to meet a fellow caster. Um, let's go to desktop. But for those of you that don't know Eleonora, Eleonora had to lie to everybody that she knew nothing about uh, all of the systems coming in Sky in uh Sky, in 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 Starfield. And the reason she had to lie to everybody is she is a Starfield developer. She is a clutter artist working for Bethesda now on the Starfield team, which is so great to see. Um so great to see Bethesda bringing in modders and saying, "Hey, you're great at what you do. Let's lift you up and bring you on board." And there are so many good systems in Starfield that I'm already seeing that it's like, hey, our modders did such a great job with Skyrim and with Fallout and with all the things they previously had. Let's give them a spot on our team. And there was something so incredibly cool that needs to be celebrated about that. Uh, Porque? Porque? I don't know what that is. It's a herding cage brain herbivore. There are flying things. I, I don't think you're gonna be harmful. It's a cage brain. I don't know. I'm a little terrified of it. I don't know if I'd wanna pet it. And the clutter is so good in this game. And honestly, you can see the effect of Eleonora in it and everything. And if you've ever downloaded like the Red Rocket house, or I'm trying to think, I had to pick a favorite house in Skyrim of, of theirs. Fuck, I can't even pick. Um, but it's so great to see that Bethesda's like, hey, let's bring modders on that do what they do well. You picked the wrong fight. Go get her, Sarah, go get him. Now, how do you all feel about the uh, the hit marks? How do you all heal feel about the hit markers? The white run house is beautiful. That was absolutely beautifully done. What is with these damn turrets? How far have you gotten in the story so far? Jesse Ray! Welcome. Me with their brain. Welcome on in, Raiders. You, you've come at the most. Uh, uh, shit, shit, shit. We're gonna hide here. We're gonna hide here. Sarah, you do it. You do it. And we're gonna sat, sit here and chat. Welcome on in, Skessy and Raiders. How are you? We currently are in a. We're in a tight spot. That's okay. And if you guys 
know, uh, if you don't know Skessy, can I please, please, please recommend now you guys go give Skessy a follow. Skessy is good people, and we love Skessy here. And in the sake of being totally transparent with y'all, Skessy is my significant other, and I am under no obligation to say that she's good people, but I did choose her to be my, my life partner, so I think that says enough to me. But go give love. Oh, no, welcome, welcome. Singing. Run away! Run away, Bring big Brit. What are you two doing just sitting here? Oh, ha! This is the Fishy Skessy Waterfall Raid. Well, welcome on in. And Fishy, how are you tonight? Thank you for giving the love to Skessy. And Skessy, thank you for giving the love. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We were just talking about how Eleonora got brought on board and how it's great to see modders actually getting their, like, their, their just desserts for doing such a great job modding. Um... Yeah, I don't know what that flyer is doing. Um, we're and we're not even taking it fast. Um, sad fact, I won't tell you what for the spoiler, but we had to spend we had to spend 40,000 credits. There we go. But can I get caster commands please for Skessy as well as for Fishi? Uh F E E S H I E underscore, I believe. Ray. There you go. Playing some heart gold soul silver. Yeah, I saw I saw her live before I went live. I saw her playing one of the old Pokemon. I, I don't Pokemon, so I didn't know which one it was. I'm Where sorry. Did they go? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Alright. I'm sure they had something we can use. Yeah. I wouldn't say we're super far advanced in the story. Ah, there you are, you bastard. You fucking Muppet. I'm gonna kill you. You had it coming. You had it coming. There we go. Let's do a quick save. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, let's go. Kramit. Kramit makes an appearance every so often. I need to get that puppet made, is what I need to do. I need to get that puppet made. Good afternoon. My name is Ginger. I spent 93k. Ugh. No, I mean, I had to give somebody else money. Oh, uh, it's too, too difficult. I had to give somebody else money for a reason that I'm not gonna. Mannequin? Uh. Demos pack. I'm not gonna worry about the rest of it. I don't know what that was. Shotgun shells, inferno mines, med kits, synapse. Now that my mic is on, the fan is on. Now that my mic is on, my mic, my fan is on full blast. Starfield's heating up your office. Oh, no matter how you tonight. Hey, Skessy, can you do me a favor? Skessy's the only person I, I, I feel okay asking this question. Can you uh, do an exclamation mark charity and go give me like a buck to test the alert? Because I've not seen the alert, go, the alert go off yet. Guys, we are raising money for PBC and the AACR, the American, Asso American Association for Cancer Research, guys. And it is that time of year that we are trying to <clears throat> beat the ever-loving snot out of cancer and raise awareness. Um, I lost my dad in 2012 to cancer, and every year there are great advances, and the AACR is behind a lot of those great advances. So if you haven't, think about either tweeting the stream or, you know, even a buck here or there. Everything helps, and the money goes directly to the AACR to... Uh, figure out uh, what programs to to work on for research and for all the grants and such. Hey. 
Just got home doing good. Wow, you're home late tonight. Let's see if it comes through when it comes through. It's a fun one, guys. This alert is a fun one. It's kind of obnoxious, but that was the point. Let's see if it actually works. Let's see if Mix It Up does it. Okay, I just got an email. Okay, that all's coming through. Okay. Again, I'm overweight. It's the story of my life. Did you? Okay, so it does not pull. Does not pull that. Oh, there it is. I don't know why it changed that way, but we'll take it. So Libby came in first cancer. That's really interesting that it did that. Yeah. I'm going to have to have a chat with some folks. But we'll get there. But guys, yes, we have uh, partnered up with... Is that Nomad as well? Is that Nomad as well? Nomad, is that you as well? So that was legitimately... Let me see. Sorry, chat. I'm still trying to get these systems all worked out in the back end. Yeah, it was no, that was actually Nomad. Now the funny thing about that chat is I actually set Nomad as my test name. But Libby, thank you for the five dollars, and Nomad, thank you for the ten dollars. And then we had our original uh, twenty-five dollar anonymous donation. Um, yeah, there was one that did Nomad for ten, and then there was one that did Libby for five. So it's whatever you put in there. So if you don't want your full name, don't put your full name. But yes. It's been a month since we found this H3 extraction site. Not sure why it was ever abandoned, but it seems to be in good shape. <clears throat> Repairs are almost complete. Um, we'll be able to get things up and running again soon. I've got to find a spare alternator, though. Alternator? I'm talking like Tomator. Tomator! But thank you, guys. And we're going to be doing this all month long. Oh! Wait! Nomad, do you want a warhead? Libby, do you want a warhead? Let's get it started. Let's do it right. Nomad, do you want, do you want a warhead, Nomad? So here's the thing for my chat. Now, Libby, do you want to bring me a warhead since they're all in your office? All right, let me take a quick second here. We're going to pause it. Um, so here's the deal. Years ago, when we used to do charity, I used to use malic acid, which is what is on top of a warhead. God, I haven't had a warhead in years. I hate warheads. Um, but I told Libby years ago that she was only allowed to have the sour part of the warhead and not the fun part of the warhead. Ah, you love warheads? Oh boy. Hey, Is this my little jar of them? Well, it's from my floor, but. Oh, I'll take the whole. I'll take the whole thing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, well, give me the container bag or something. You gonna come over and say hello? If you want to. So, guys, I have a draw here, and there's an ad break in a minute and a half, so we're gonna wait. There's, there's, there's. Just use it. Okay. Just no, it's already hitting. F. It's already hitting. So, I can either close my eyes and take one nomad, or you can pick a color. You can pick green. Oh, they're gone. Oh, oh, some of these are yeah. spilly. Yeah. All right. Green, yellow, red, blue, pink. Actually, I think I want to start with a pink one this year, but I'll let Nomad pick. They're terrible. They do the thing. Blue is your fave. Any color. Okay, so then we're going to start with a pink, which is watermelon flavored. And the idea is you're only allowed to eat it. You cannot get warheads in Canada for the past 10 months. What's funny is they're made in my sister's town. 
Um, maybe we'll have to send you a jar if you're going to join in on the whole uh, charity thing for the month. Oh, this packet, this. Uh, Libby, will you grab me one that's like good? All right. Toxic waste is so much worse. All right, give me one second, guys. How old are they? Torturously old. Alright, so let's try this. Let's try this. <laughs> oh my god, it looks like Dookie, guys. It looks like... Here. It looks like Dookie. We're ending up with a black cherry one, which are... I don't want to go in game. I want to go in room. I ended up with a... Black cherry one. Ugh. It's been, it's been years since I've had a warhead. Mm. Ah. And the worst part is the outside is like turned to taffy. They're not hard. And I'm getting little bits of sour stuck to the roof of my mouth. Mmm. Guys, this is small fish. We have to remember. What folks with cancer and their families go through. And when I put that into perspective, we can change the world. We can change the world. We can help create more survivors. And I can tell you guys that since mm -hmm. you're going to go I don't think so. Come on. Even my computer's like, no, I don't want to work. Um, let me just do this because this is easier. I believe you can go to my page and sign up too, Rufus. Thanks to the efforts of the AACR, Since 1991, over three and a half million people have become survivors of cancer. And guys, what we're doing today, here, this month, this bar, is we are trying to make that bit number bigger through awareness, through raising funds. Those funds go to research grants. Those grants go to scientists. Those scientists come up with life-saving, uh, cancer-eliminating potentially, uh, trials and treatments that can help save people with cancer. Because typically, <coughs> I hate warheads. I hate warheads, sorry. Typically, one in every three people are affected in cancer. Uh, in, some, in some way, they will develop, one in three people will develop cancer in their lifetime. And that being said, that number of who you know that's going to be affected by cancer is even lower. So think of how many people you know and realize that one out of every three of those people are going to develop some kind of cancer. And that's why we do this. I hate warheads. I hate the fucking jelly beans, which I got to go get from my mom's on Tuesday. Um, Y'all have talked about baby food. There's toxic warheads. Oh, there's spoonfuls of malic acid. 
there's the super spicy ramen and I am not against torturing myself because you guys torturing me, we can make a big difference. Even a buck. If everybody came in, if everybody that came into my stream gave a buck, and I know not everybody can, so please don't feel guilt if you can't, um, but if everybody came in and gave a buck, we could put a serious dent in this. And guys, $1,000 is not the end goal. That's the first of milestones. There are more milestones after that. And I'm even trying to convince a certain somebody in the other office that, uh, actually, it's not that way, that she can, um, if you guys hit the final milestone, which I will tell you is five grand, I will let her pie me in the face with a cream pie, like a shaving cream or like whipped cream pie, and actually cream pie me in the face. So that being said, if you guys want to get there by the end of the month, you know what we got to do. So, have I tried Sour Patch Kids? I don't know if I've ever had Sour Patch Kids. I don't know if they're, uh, I don't know if they're sour enough. But Libby and I need to go to the uh, grocery store and do some of that jazz and get into that. But let's get back into the game. I'm sorry. This is gonna kind of be a fragmented month with everything going on, but we're gonna get through. What I'm carrying? Yeah, I want to see what you're carrying, Sarah. Uh, weapons. I'm not using that Equinox a lot. Um, give her that, and that, and that. Hmm. Oh, I hate. Oh, that's a sh sharp looking suit. All right. Talk to you later. Let's go. Let's keep going. Snake oil. Hey, look. Zero G gimbal. Antimicrobial. But that's what this bar underneath me is, guys. That's what this is all about. Yeah, I found the Equinox mediocre. I don't know about you guys, but also on the other topic, I lost my dad in 2012 to cancer. And uh, they told him that he had six months to live. And he lived 14 years. And part of that because was because he was in um, FDA clinical trials. Part of what allowed him to, to go further was one of the drugs he was on actually made a huge dent. That's part of the reason I do what I do. Um, I kind of feel like we have a responsibility. We get to sit here and cut up and play video games and be idiots all day. So then we can actually make a difference and change the world. I am on board for that anytime I can. Oh, I guess I can just pick it up. Okay, so we're gonna go here. It's a utility knife. Did you pick? Did you pick? Credit sealant. But you guys have the opportunity to torment torment me all month long, which I know some of you are going to enjoy. And I hate spicy. I can't, it's ever since my heart attack, I can't handle spicy, so have fun with that. All right, so we gotta go over here, it looks like. Helium-3 extraction site. Oh, look, it's a Skyrim cave, everybody. It is a Skyrim cave. I need to speak to Donor Drive though about, like, I need to talk to Libby about that whole. It looks like an alternate entrance to the Helium Three facility. I don't know what that generator is for. Set aside anything useful and just leave the rest. I'm trying to take anything useful. Oh, who would want to drink bourbon out of a bag? That reminds me of the baby food can, uh, baby food bags. Ow. Okay. No time. No time to chat. Just. Level 10 hunting cricket. I think we came at this from the wrong angle, Chad. 
Uh, let me check my weapons. Switch out a weapon. Ha -cha 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 -cha. Where is my... Take that. Oh, come on. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Sarah, you came in clutch on that one. Thank you, Sarah. Wait, so if she's Sarah Morgan, she's the captain of the whole, like... Does that make her Captain Morgan? Oh boy. Did I just I'm going to end you. Oh, am I out of ammo? Like out out. Oh boy. Land now? What? Lando, what? Out of that ammo. Do we have enough ammo with this? Yeah. I shouldn't have picked this fight? Is that what you're telling me? I don't think I have the I don't think I have enough ammo in my entire belt to handle this. Maybe the answer is to just go inside. Do a quick save, go inside, and not deal with it. We're not gonna deal with it. Fuck it. We're not gonna deal with it. Arr. Okay, I can do this. Alright, there's another. Oh, now I'm out of ammo for that. Oh, chat, we are in a bad way. We are in a bad way. Um, we're gonna bind you to five. Bind, oh, bind you to two? Okay. I don't think we have any ammo for that, though, so. Nope. I have shotgun ammo. Uh, you see, okay. There's some money. Caseless ammo, okay. Let's do this. Five. Time to get the cutter out? Maybe. Oh, I can't get up there. I can't get up there yet. Chunks 
speech. Yeah, I know. I'm over encumbered. That's fine. You Trauma pack. Nothing, nothing. Shotgun shells. A calibrated. Okay, that's something else that we have that. Uh, Equinox. Modified Equinox. Grendel. Calibrated. Take it. I'll take it. Oh, I have no ammo. Fuck, I hate this crap. I don't right. stock up on junk. Come here. What can I help you with? This Stopping junk is going to fund us items? through space. No, 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 no. I don't want to take it all. Uh, you that. You that. Uh. Okay. Boosted mails from 13, 13. You. Coachman. Space suits. That is a legendary. Okay, everything about that suit except for corrosive is up. We're going to keep that. Star roamer. That's not bad. We're gonna equip that. Give her that for now. Helmet, we're good. Packs, give her that. We are down below our line. Bye bye. So many side missions. Exactly, that's great. Like, I'm on board for so many side missions. I right, got ammo there. Are you a fan of side missions? Are you one of the like folks that are like, just give me the straight, like the story and I want to be done. Five. Lock is too difficult for me. See, I personally like them. Okay, so let's make sure we get everybody here. Sell. Amp. I think I've done three times as many side missions as the main missions. Okay. Too hard for us. Can we level up that yet? Let me see. Where the hell is appreciation social physical? Where the hell? Uh, yeah, we're going to go for that. There we go. So now we're going to save it again. Now, I'm not the greatest at this minigame. I will be totally honest with you guys. Okay. That. That looks like that'd do that. Yeah, no, you don't work there. Uh, you go there. You go there. You go there. You go there. So that'll do. So we go here, 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 and here. Got it. All right, so we needed these. Those not so much. No, those not so much. But we're up to 6,000 credits again, which I will happily take. Right back, Apple Bites, Weapon Workbench, I don't care about. What do you guys think? Do we like this new mini game that they've come up with for this? Do we like the whole, like, spinny lock thing? It's different. 
like it is definitely different than what things used to be like they've broken the mold for you know the Skyrim Fallout Oblivion like lockpick series and I'm not against it it's different but I don't know how I feel about it like I'm I'm not the world's greatest lockpicker either in these games so I I usually just bypass like especially the hacking in Fallout 4 but I'm surprised there isn't like some kind of hacking mini game for the computers. Like, I'm not sure why they didn't give us that. There I want. Him I want. Fiber, sure. Everybody needs a little more fiber in their diet. Uh, was this an advanced lock? Ah, it is an advanced lock, so let's save. Okay. So that will do that. <clears throat> and I need one with three. Uh, you're too small. No. You're there. So I think that one and that one. Yeah, we'll do the outer ring. Let's try it. Oop. Oh, nope. Nope. Okay, screwed that up. Do that, that, and then we need one with three. Or nope. So that'll do that. And we could do if there's one that's got three on a side. Four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, so there no, no. God damn it. I, I, I always feel stupid doing this, chat. Not gonna lie. One, two, three. That doesn't work. That one could work there. Yeah, it's not just controls lock. So that could be those three. Then we need one with four. Except you don't line up. Unless you'll do that, maybe. And then we need one with three that are there. Okay, so you. And then, oh boy, where was the last one? There. Okay. That'll go there. That'll go... I don't think that's going to work. No. No. That one works. That one works. I have one that'll cover. Nope. That one works. And then. Yeah. So that one. Oh no, that doesn't work. So that one and then this guy. Cool. I see you've done that. Did before. we win tonight? Did we win? I've been live the whole time, Laka. Last time I looked, it was 14, 14 and half time. Did we win? What was the final score of the Seminole game tonight? Oh, we won. We won 24 to 45. We won. I'm surprised we beat LSU that when I saw 14 14 I was like this is gonna be a close game Da 
Solomon's Adventure. Ooh. Weapon damage at night. Barbacoa. God damn it. Now I'm hungry for barbacoa. All right. We'll read that later. Chicken Marsala. Mmm. Nom, 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 Hopefully we're on a warpath. Hopefully it's going to be a good year for us. But if it's not, that's okay too. We've had plenty of stinko years. What's one more? Skin cream bottle. Staple gun, don't need. Ooh, frag mines, inferno mines. More ammo. I'm struggling for ammo though, I'll tell you that. Modified Grendel with a suppressor, okay. That'd be fun. Another 160 credits, Origin of Species. Need to like, get somewhere and sell a bunch of shit quickly. Quickly? Anybody else a college football fan? If so, what is your team? Let's do another save. Okay. So back into this terrible game again. Um, and then we have three to take care of something. Something that looks... I have to go something like that and that's not going to work. Ever. That'll work. Then we have three on this side. Doesn't work. You don't follow any sports? That's fair. That would work. And then we need one with two. Nope. That would work. So if we do... No. We do... That one. Boop. And then we do that guy. Oh, Christ. Not what I meant to hit. Actually got lucky. Hockey? Okay. Credits. That's not a bad looking. Long barrel, suppressor, large mag. Sure. We got lucky there though, Chad. I'm not going to lie. I'm a huge fan of insert sports ball team. No, that's fine. Not everybody is. Like, I was huge. Like, football fan in college and then when college was over I caught the ESPN like highlights but I didn't watch a ton of it either like I don't have the time to watch you know a boatload of college sports now uh, da, da. as a musician I will tell you guys my heart has always been and will always be with the college bands Can't believe Consolidated Mining abandoned us. Apparently the installation wasn't profitable enough. Should have listened to Corey. Those megacorps have no humanity. It's always money first. What a bunch of assholes. We haven't heard anything from them since they cut us off. We're about to run out of supplies. On top of that, we don't have a ship who can't... We don't have a ship who can't let us go home. I'll try to craft an emitter to send an SOS to a passing ship, but if that doesn't work, we could be stranded. Laka, how you been though, bud? How's life treating you? Oh. Did you pick? Piggy dick. All right, so let's try this again. We're getting slowly better at it. That would be that. That would be that. Boop. Boop. this one.
Screwed something up. All right, let's do one of these because I'm still learning. Right, let's give this a shot. I don't know if we're in, in anything right now that's that's uh, spoilerable. Just guessing. Let's try this again. I will say these puzzles are a lot harder. That would be that one. And then you would be that one. Okay. So you. You. Then you. And then you. Got it. That lost. Really? 124 credits? That was it? I do like their new models, though. Their new models are great. And a medical uniform. So we can RP as a as a nurse. As Nurse Lan. Clinic is so satisfying, isn't it? Yeah, sure. It is. Someone... Oh, chat... Game over. We're done. We're done. It's done. There are sweet rolls in this universe. So my question is... Is Elder Scroll canon? I like how it says sweet rolls are considered the tastiest treat in any universe. Someone steal your sweet rolls? That's delightful. That is delightful. I don't think we can pick that lock. All right, we need one more lock in order to get to the next step. The dragons. Hey girl, you like dragons. I don't think we're gonna be able to get out this door. Can you, can I? I'm listening. Bye for now. Bye for now. All right, so where do you want me to go here anyway? I, I, I squirrel brain out and I completely lose track of everything going on. And I just bored. And that's all I do. Not a fan of the Equinox. Advanced Urban Eagle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I get a, oh, yeah? I'm waiting to see if she goes to the other Damn, there's a bunch of ammo here. Outside we go, I guess, to deal with, uh, hopefully not those fucking weird-ass animals. Oh, yeah? Are y'all done, like, being angry that I shot at you? Where are you trying to take me? Find the artifact on me. So it's in there. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Helium 3 extraction site. Yes, this is where we're going. And then... Oh, boy. Okay. Alright, it's time to get our miner out. Not what I meant to hit. God damn it. Oh, I guess I just got an achievement. Or, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Alright, I want to trade I'll some gear with you. I'll carry the good stuff. <laughs> just kidding. So my question to y'all is why are y'all like simping so hard for uh for for space Laura Croft? Does anybody want to uh explain this to me? Oh, that's right, you have my log giver. 
What is up? We were just talking about that OSU. Like, I did not expect it to go that way at all. That is not, not what I expected at all. I thought, I looked at it right before halftime and it was 14 14, and I was like, oh, this is going to be a tough game. She's cute and has crippling despair. What do I think about these spacers in the Helium 3 site? I don't know if I really have a thought about them, to be honest. I mean, they're just generic NPCs again. All right, so let's set you. Go. Time to go do some mining, chat. Do, 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 do. It's great. I don't know if I see the crippling disparities. Maybe I'm not far enough into the story. Maybe I'm not far enough in. I mean, they seem like regular old spacers. Like, what's the other ones that we've come across that I think are actually the challenging enemies? Uh, the guys who carry the laser pistols, or the laser rifles, the ones where you're on Neptune and the moon outpost, those guys, I can't think of their names. I don't know how much of this calamite we need, but we're going to get as much as we can. But thank you, Ozio. I didn't get to watch any of it, but you know, we have a lot of bad years, so having a good year, I'm, I'm definitely down for it, for my, you know, I'm a modder. But I am, I am definitely down to have a good year, and winning against LSU is certainly a uh, feather in the cap. LSU is a great team. And I can't think of, you know, a better way to start off a season than LSU, honestly. It's not like we're starting off against some, you know, uh, the, uh, the ecliptics. That's who I'm thinking of. That's exactly who I'm thinking of. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, can, without spoiling it, am I? is it worth my time every time I find this calamite to grab as much of it? And I have not read anything, I've not seen anything, but considering it how it's only around these sites where the artifacts are, I feel like it might be a good thing to grab. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's kind of like back in the old day, we used to play Wake Forest as our parents' weekend because we knew we were gonna kick the shit out of Wake Forest. And then over time, Wake Forest got better. <laughs> and. It was no longer an easy walk for us, but way back in the day, it's exactly the same idea. Like it was not even a, it was not even a hard, it was, was not even a hard push. Thank you, Rocky. And I love how the music happens here. Like as you get closer and closer to the, to the actual artifact, it starts that whole like Dolby or, or like, I'm trying to remember what it was that used to use the strings. The, like ambient strings warming up in the, in the back. Great. So now both of our dogs are addicted to goldfish. Thanks, Obama. Coyote's child, bring it in the raid. What's up, Coyote? How are you? What were you playing? How was your stream? How is it going? What's your current addiction? Is it Zomboid this week or is it Starfield or what is it? Ah, get a cast command please for Coyote's, char Coyote's Child. How is your playthrough going? Uh, we're trying to be as spoiler free as possible, but how is it so far for you? Oh, we ran out of power. Okay, we're gonna wait and let our, our stuff recharge. 
Um, honestly, I love getting sidetracked in these games. Part of the greatest thing about like RPGs is that you can um, it's just a random place that's generated in multiple places. Okay. Yeah, I want to build a better ship. I'm broke. Um, without giving you the reason why I had to spend 40,000 credits tonight to help somebody out. I was severely pissed um, about it, to say the least. And right now, we're just, uh, we're doing some mining. Oh boy, it feels like we're never going to get out of here. It feels like we're never going to get out of here. I want to build my own ship, too. I want to, like, I thought about in my private case about, like, just cheesing it. Because, guys, you know there's already, like, a hundred and something mods on the Nexus. And sadly, I probably can't use any of them. Because I have the Xbox uh, Game Pass Edition. That's okay. That's okay. Eventually, it will go on sale, and mods will mature, and then I will have mods. Sitting at 270k? Damn, look at you, Richie Rich. Look at you all the money. Guys, we're gonna mock Coyote's Child now for having so much fucking money in this game. But no, all kidding aside, that's awesome. And when you when you get into the ships, let us know. Wait. Wait. Ten days, seriously? Seriously? Um, see, I thought the space, I thought it would have been the spacers, like, came after they had died. Hey, they shot me first. I don't care. Innocent people don't shoot people. Innocent people don't shoot people. Ironically, I, the Econo Hall was the one I was looking at. I love that. This effect is so cool. Alright, so we're going to keep getting this. Yeah, I was thinking about, about getting that one. Oh! Oh boy. Guys. Did we just get a hundred dollar donation? Is that what I'm seeing? Did we literally just get a hundred dollar donation for charity? Somebody came in anonymously and dropped a hundred bucks. Anonymous first cancer. A hundred dollars. Guys, thank you, whoever you are. Thank you so much. Um, I guess it's time for another warhead while we do this. What do you guys think? No, 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 uh, Coyote. That's that's for charity. That's for charity. That's not for me. That's for everything this month. Bits, sub, uh, subs, everything is going towards uh, the campaign for Players vs. Cancers, America's American Association for Cancer Research. And um, every single dime raised this month is going to the AACR to help fund different research programs and all kinds of things. Um, since you're anonymous, I don't know if you want a... If you're anonymous and you just don't want to be publicly like outed, you want to send me a DM or a text or something and let me know whether I should take a warhead or not if you want to if you don't then we won't uh, real quick if this game is on if this game is game pass or is it still PC console PC I thought you couldn't install all the same mods that you do like for steam versions I thought they didn't expose the same folder registries and yeah this is through it's through the Xbox store I don't know if it's the same as Game Pass, but I legitimately own this copy, so I don't know if I'm exposed to a different set of folders than the PC Pass people will. 
All right, coyotes, have a good night. Can we get a cast command, please, for coyotes? And coyotes, have a wonderful evening. Uh, enjoy your day off tomorrow if you get a day off. And uh, I will be popping in. I want to see how you how you handle uh, shipbuilding. So, guys, go give coyotes some love. Amazing person, awesome caster. And uh, go enjoy the time with the wife. I saw Game Pass. Yeah, but I don't have the Game Pass edition. I spent, you know, the money on the full edition. All right, so here we go. Thank you, whoever you are. So we got another... Yeah, I'm not, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I can understand where they hide the code from Game Pass people so they can't, like, copy files out and this and that and everything. But I, this is not the free version. This is the full-paid advanced version. Otherwise, I wouldn't have it until the 6th. Actually, no, I, I don't know how they're doing that. But I, I paid the full amount to have the full game. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. When it comes time to modding, I will either write up a document or do a short video for everybody on that. All right. The hell out of Dodge. And yeah, they shot at me first, so. That's the way it is. Dooby dooby doo. Dooby dooby doo. I am not sure, though. Libby, what do you think? Should I do another warhead just for so? Or does that break. Aluminum. Does that break the, uh. the way it's done? Talk with Sarah. Remember our last conversation? Yeah. When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy. Yes. Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. You never mentioned... You never mentioned your predecessor to me before. To my anonymous donor, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. I feel like we're making good memories of our own. Aja must be quite a person. Keep talking like that, and I might get jealous. Aja? I kind of want to go with the fun, lighthearted. Um, keep talking like that, I might get jealous. Be like, if everything went smoothly, you got to bump some... Exactly. Exactly, OSU. By the way, how are your headaches doing? Well, there's no reason to be jealous. They were just, I don't know, different times. Different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. The rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas for my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together. But it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There you don't get a lot of those with me around. Nothing quite like Sorry. sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know Tomorrow, someone. Baby, that's good, safely. Take it on the cozy isolation. Yeah, you know, being alone in that's not bad, OSU. Space, I mean, it's not great, but it's, but it's be better than bad. Black around you. Some people find that terrifying. I find it. Comfortable. 
It helps me bond with my shipmates. That's the Muppet Show! At this point, I'd say you've graduated from protege and moved up the ladder. A bit. You hey, know, Libby, you want to have some pose isolation with me? All this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. All pants. right. I have pants on. I do have pants on tonight. I have my Florida State running shorts on. Is she uh, dead? No, she retired. Living on Porima Two now, I think. Oh, that planet. Come to think of it. Yeah, quite a that planet. That far. Perhaps we could pay her a visit, and I could make proper introductions. Yeah, that planet. That place. Um. I don't know. She sounds like a tough act to follow. Well, you don't need to follow anyone. Just oh, be God. yourself. Thanks, Dan. I chose to accompany you on this journey because I saw something familiar in your eyes. A hunger for exploration. Hungry eyes. Oh, here we go. I... I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might change. Please, give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Space Mommy has damage. I'll let you be with your, with your thoughts. Space Mommy has damage. Tin, there, there is something like psychopathic about it. There is something that's that's a bit sick. I'm not gonna lie. You're you're right. <laughs> Actually, it might woo her. That might woo her. Hungry eyes. I need to watch Dirty Dancing again. It's been too many years. I like melons. Yo! Libby! You know how we were talking about little things that show inclusivity without cramming it down somebody's throat? Okay. Cool. Good for you. Alright guys, anyway, as I was saying, um... This game has a great way of like not pushing inclusivity down people's throats, but latkes, right there. A Jewish potato dish. Fritters made with a batter of potatoes, eggs, onions, and either flour or matzo meal. Yeah, I would. I would honestly report because that's pretty violent shit, but good for them. Fuck off, has a, have a nice day, not my problem. Not you, Ben. All right, so where the hell, there's the body. Credits. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. I thought there was another one. All right. Um, actually. Hmm. Open native user card. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me a second. I hate that I have to do this crap, but people just can't adult. We don't put up with that kind of bullshit here in my channel. As people who work in the industry, fuck that noise. We're not we're not putting up with that. Either ju juvenile bullshit or whatever, but we're not putting up with it. Sorry. Where are you? Big mag pressure tank? Okay. 
Yeah, game's not for everybody, but there's no reason to, like, threaten, you know, that you're going to go kill somebody's dog or something. Fuck that. Ain't cool. Aww. What happened to these boys? We didn't kill these guys, I hope. This wasn't us. Another deserted Helium-3 facility. Must have been abandoned when this rock went dry. That's really sad. I mean, I'm gonna harvest everything I can. Predator aliens will kill non predator. Well, that means there's something. Oh, those damn things that we were shooting at before, maybe. But they're such good boys. They're such good boys. Did he just die? Is he dying? No. No, my big green doggo son. Good again. Yay. All right, let's go back to our planet or a planet that has life on it. And let's go drop off some stuff. Change of scenery. That's really sad. Oh, okay, so we stood for a while. And I could also make standing one of those things that is a charity incentive this instead of the warhead. So cool. You can have that as a charity incentive instead of a warhead if you want. It's up to you guys. All right, so let's see what we got as far as outpost. I'm trying to see if there's a way to tell in these systems. Production center. I don't think so. Uh, let's go back to... We're going to have to go back this way anyway. Yeah, let's go back to Alpha Centauri. That is heartbreaking. And there's... Uh, hopefully with the, with the mod engine, they're going to be able to add a lot more. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course while we scan your ship's cargo. Hopefully they're going to be able to add a lot more um, planets and animals. And cool All stuff. right, we're done. All right, so let's go to... Planet uh, New Atlantis. There we go. <clears throat> yeah, just so you guys know going forward, um, both Libby and I work in the industry, and this is not a smart place to tell people that you're going to harm somebody in the industry because you don't like a product they made. Um, that's an irrational behavior, and that's not going to cut it around here. What else? Sorry. Shit, don't fly in my house. Anyway. All right, so let's go here and see if we can't sell some of this. I really don't dig the equinox scouts equinox press maelstrom sell it sell it sell it get rid of the compensator get rid of you Boosted Maelstrom. We'll keep the boosted one. Coachman actually came in clutch. Keep the advanced. Get rid of you.
Anything I can help you with? Let's see what you got on you. Maybe hey, you pick yes. one of those. Her arm just did a weirdie. Let's see what you've got. Her arm just did a weirdie. All right, so she has that. Um, uh, you've got a coachman on you. And five equinoxes, yeah. One of them. Side star. Uh, all. Damn, you got a lot of ammo on you and such, too. Do, um. Okay, star roamer, space suit. That's who I gave that to. Okay. Um. And my instigating lawgiver. Keep my constellation. Do that. Um, do companions actually have to so have long. ammo in this one? Are we back to the old way? Are we back to the old way? Okay, do you. You. Oh. Nope. And we're going. We're going to go sell some goodies. This might actually be the spot to stop for the night. Now, chat. My question to y'all. You will be scanned as you enter the Do you want to see another night of this, or should we go back to regularly scheduled programs? Hard to tell. I just walked by the room of babies. That's not my focus right now. I just need to get to that counter before I run out of O2. Hope you're fine. There is a bit more in the back if you're not. Oh, please take a look. Okay. I would like to do one more night, but. Y'all aren't on board. I can understand that too. Star Roamer. Bye bye. I might want to hold on to that. That's kind of badass. Blend in with the environment while sneaking and not moving. I think we're going to keep that. Helmets, packs, weapons. Okay, we're back up to 12 grand. You, you do, but that's also a great reason to say, hey, as a regular here who comes around fairly regularly no matter what I play, and thank you for that. Oh, you're out of credits. Um, What would you rather see? Yeah, I see that. Appreciate the business. Oh, we're out of Dealing in art is uh, more exciting than one would think. <laughs> you and I got there at the same time, Tin. But if you guys are enjoying it, I would love to do another day of it. And we're actually going to sit down. Also, I want to take this opportunity. That's 2.30 in the morning. I want to say, if you have not joined my Discord, exclamation mark Discord, and if you guys have any ideas for charity incentives this month in which you guys think that you would like to torture me, um, do not hesitate to come in and... Be honest, as long as it's not causing physical harm, I'm pretty open to a lot of things. Okay, what did that say? Hundred fifty seven credits have been All right, we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it is. If it if you don't see what you want, feel oh please take a look. 5,000 credits. Oh, sent to my parents? Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Q. Miscellaneous. Bottle opener. Bowl. Those. 
And I don't know how much of this stuff. I don't know if I need a circuit board. I don't know if I have any need for those things. I don't know if I have a need for it at all, so I'm not going to really sweat it. Resources. I got to be honest, those whole trait system, I really wasn't super like, ooh, this is awesome. Like, meh. I guess meh is the kind of the best word I can come up with. Uh, calibrated Solstice. Calibrated Grendel. Furious calibrated Grendel. That's fine. I have so many of these freaking Grendels. He's got a suppressor. More piercing rounds. Good you. You. You I'm going to keep. You I'm going to keep. And again, I feel like I wish I could make ammo. See, here's the thing, Wolf. They showed up at the lodge today, and, and that was my interaction with them. And I was like, uh, what? All right. All right, so I think this is where we are going to call it for the day. Thanks for coming in. I promise you, chat. They gave you a ship? Like an actual, like, flyable ship? Holy shit. Holy ship. Um, that's wild. Um, I don't even know if that's a, like a story spoiler or what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend off stream some time and get all my inventory cleaned up. I'm not going to leave New Atlantis. I'm going to stay here, sell shit, going to make room, going to get everything repaired. That's fine. Um, but yeah, so we'll spend more time with the parents. We'll spend more time with the parents. I guess they've got a, you know, a used space car to give us. But that being said, let's see who is live. Let's see who we can send the love to, who we can rocket fire off to. I don't know if anybody else from the PVC Discord is actually live right now. No, there's not even a live section. Poo poo. That's not good. Um. No, I don't even see anybody live in there. Maybe that needs to be added. Uh, so from that note, we're going to go find somebody to raid from our list. And we're going to keep the good vibes going. There is that wonderful PVC logo. But guys, we will be here all month long raising money for uh, combating cancer and cancer research and such. Um, and with all that jazz. Bork, 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 bork. Um, Shit, I don't even know who we have. Let's see right now. I'm trying to look. Uh, I got a barking dog outside of my office. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's send the love to Dano. Let's send the love to Dano. So, guys, have a wonderful night. This is our raid call that, that Rufus put in chat or that, that Mufasa put in chat. God, you threw off my whole rhythm by, like, being a good mod. <laughs> Thank you for that. Um, I, I will, I will come and partake. The White Hatter, thank you for hanging out tonight and thank you for the follow. Uh, I think we're going to be back with more of this tomorrow night. White Hatter with uh, 600 bits. We're going to be dropping those into the research fund. But thank you so much, Hatter. I appreciate you and I'm glad you hung out tonight and your commentary and back and forth. This has been great. I love playing games. And part of the reason I love Twitch so much is because we get to interact with people. Um, and so you guys giving me your insight on how you would do things and all of this and that, like, it's been great. Um, but thank you for that. And we'll be back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Eastern for more Starfield. We're going to go raid the one, the only Danitage, who's a great, great guy. And, um, I hope you'll have a fantastic day. Um, if you're here in America and you have tomorrow off, enjoy your day off. Doesn't give you an excuse to not make the world a better place tomorrow, but I'll see you guys tomorrow night. And, uh, otherwise I hope you have a great day tomorrow and you don't stub your toe and, um, the world gives you roses, or at least you can stand up, put up a good fight, and keep fucking going, because that's all we can do. So, on that note, we're going to go raid. Much love, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night. We're going to go raid Dano in five, four, three, two, one. Go get him, go get him, go get him, go get him.